Greetings, earthlings and humans and members of the animal kingdom who might be listening. Um, welcome to the Roseanne Barr podcast. I'm very excited today because I have uh, somebody who's very interesting and likes to talk a lot and claims he's a doctor. <laughs> but I think he is a doctor and he's so interesting and very nice. Dr. Drew. Hi, Dr. Drew. I think I'm an earthling and a human. I think (laughs) I qualified for both. Thank you. Good You're times. welcome. So I've been looking forward to this. I, I thought this would be very interesting, you and I talking. Yeah. You're going to well, take me to places that probably make me uncomfortable uh-huh. and uh, and probably teach me a, few, a thing or two, I suspect. Well, you never know. It could go the other way as well. Well, I hope you learn something too. Yeah, I would like yeah. to. Yeah, but I don't think I'll make you uncomfortable. <laughs> I think that'd be too hard. I. What? I think it'd be hard to make you uncomfortable. No, it's not hard no. at all. Oh, is that true? No, just yes. make eye contact. See, already I'm learning something. See, Try and yeah. shake her hand real quick. Just oh, no, I don't touch people. Uh, yeah. there you uh, go. You oh, hug no. me. You do a little hug hug. Well, I don't mind the occasional hug. Uh-huh. Or I was going to tell a dirty joke, but I don't <laughs> I usually say that just to my kids. <laughs> you know, I save my filthiest material for my own children. That's not good, is it, doctor? It, it's, um, I, I don't like to put qualifying good or bad terms on things like that it's just uh could, could create problems could could <laughs> could, could create issues uh, by the way uh, jake introduced me to your dining room he just goes here's where we had our thanksgiving fight yeah <laughs> and i was like okay okay well, well was yeah, it, it i'm was, never doing it again no more no i have not ever had one that i've enjoyed in my entire life mm. and i'm 71 years old I, that makes me feel bad i'm sorry about that well we figured something out we're gonna do we mm. we can still do thanksgiving we're just not gonna let any family come yeah. And we think that you can still have the turkey and do everything. You, you two can be together? Yeah, well, I live next door, so we can, can, can FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, or I can okay. just go next yeah. door. We, we were fine. I, I, was, we, I just we, think we, I, yeah. I'm, I'm very, that makes me very happy that you said that, son, because you love me and I appreciate it. My ideal holiday is probably different from yours, though. I... I <laughs> Let me hear I this. want no human contact <laughs> whatsoever ever on the holidays. Yeah. The holidays are my time for repair, Doctor okay. Drew, because okay. they were always the worst fucking times of my life. Because I had a, a drama, a family of drama. Yes, it was very ethnic drama. You know, being a Jew and all. Well, Jew drama is sort of usually not heavy drama what it's 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 sort of it's sort of um like theatrical drama you know what i mean typically you guys had heavy drama like traumatic drama drama oh yeah Yeah, yeah, no jew drama yeah jew that's called jew drama the really heavy yeah (laughs) dark drama the trauma drama yeah okay yeah it's always traumatic. It's a well, you, had, dramatic. you had abuse too, right? You, you pointed that out to me a few times when we. Well, talked. I wanted to talk to you about that being the way the world is now, being seventy-one. Yes. I used to feel maybe twenty years ago that this country was going through a mental health crisis. Yes. Well, now it's twenty years later. Yeah. And it's off the charts. The mental illness won. Yeah. And the rest <laughs> of us lost. Yes. I completely agree. You do? No, completely. In in fact, so I so my background is I worked in a psychiatric hospital for like 30 years. Uh, and we used to actually help people all the time. Uh, it was really quite exciting. You know, treatment worked and we could do things for people and they got better. Now, nothing's available. There aren't any psychiatrists. You're not allowed to help everyone. They're, they go... Sp- sleep on the sidewalk that's the help now yes and, uh-huh. and people go do all the drugs they want whenever they want and they s- steal to support their habit and they're leading their best life who are you to say yeah yeah uh, so i've got the city of los angeles the county of los angeles seven people a day dying on the streets mm-hmm. those are all my patients i know how to oh, treat them God. i could easily do it be not a problem we could restore them to some kind of meaningful engaged life you're not allowed to you're not allowed to that's what? just that's just the extreme stuff. That's just the homeless stuff. Just just let, then on top of that, we have mass formation. That's the rest of us are completely out of our minds with the mob action and the hysterias that have been going on. Whether it's Trump or COVID or whatever, some massive hysteria is always underway it's now. It's endless hysteria. It's endless, and I, you know, I endless s- trauma. 
Well, so this, I'd be curious in your insight. This. So to me, <coughs> when, when I started working in a psychiatric hospital, there was a lot of different kinds of personality disorders. You see all kinds of things. By the late 80s, everything shifted over to borderline. And then in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, I remember the borderline, a lot of borderline thing coming stuff. in. Yeah. Did you get a borderline label at the No, time? my sister did. Okay. And then and then narcissism generally, just the narcissistic disorders were yeah. only, that's all we saw. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's a change. And this is something that something's happening. Yeah. And I started looking into I wrote a book on it and I and I thought the oh, this book is, is named it's named the mirror effect it's uh, about celebrity narcissism we actually oh had some I love the mirror it, so. effect yeah, was, I love that name it, that's exactly what it I is I took yeah. your test too you took the test yeah. how'd you do did you fail no I'm not, not what was I, your score are you can tell I, me? I can't this was like seven years ago but okay. it was I, I was happy at the end of it okay, <laughs> okay. like I was okay. okay I'm a narcissist yeah, I had narcissist you personality should, disorder I I, that's just the, one of my problems I don't think that's a disorder again that's just one of your personalities that has that yeah that would be a little different. Yeah, that, that's a little you different. You should take the test, though. I'm Can not we, taking any tests. It, it's just a narcissistic it, inventory. It's way of okay. sort of. It's just sort of narcissistic traits inventory. Them. I didn't. Yeah. Have. And uh, in any event, anyway, the, sorry, the, the so it's clear to me that we we've, we've been through this massive shift, and I think trauma was the underlying mm-hmm. issue that was creating a lot of it. God knows, on Loveline every night, just trauma, trauma. Yeah. That's uh-huh. all we heard about, and, I, and certainly in the hospital, that's all I saw. And I ran a drug unit for 20 years, and we we could handle the most seriously ill people. And I always have said that if you had bad enough addiction, you saw me, you had trauma, for sure, 100%. Cool. So and, are you yeah. like saying you were like the last line of defense I they was, had? When, yes. Oh, when everyone else was done, we got them. That, that's, okay. that's what happened. But in any event, um, I started obsessing about, you know, this cannot be the only moment in history where this has happened, right? It's mm-hmm. got to be other times and other places. And uh, Or I, people have been this disconnected th- from reality? This, well, that's what happens as a result of the trauma and the narcissism, I would right. say. Right. So the two things that stood out that when I was just doing my little surveys, I, I got a few other candidates in the, in the, from the historical record now, too. But at the time I was writing the book, I thought, well, the only time I can find so much childhood sexual abuse and abandonment and all this, pre-revolutionary France. Okay. The, the French were just brutal with oh. how they dealt with kids back in like, 1770. Mm-hmm. And and then and then I started... Wasn't look- that the Dickens novel? I mean, he was Tell writing, writing that in that time. It's the yeah. Brit- oh, yeah. was he, was, that's about yeah. France. I think yeah. that was the French Revolution, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the, that whole period was... Right. I, I've been obsessing... The more we've gotten into that's our hysteria, the, the more I'm obsessing about it. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing I saw, this not as is directly relatable, but uh, the Aztecs. I thought, oh, mm-hmm. they... They had a book called the Codex, which was how to traumatize your kids and turn them into warriors, essentially. Right. Oh, so it was wow. adaptive for them. Oh. But once you have so severely traumatized kids, they become violent. They will turn that violence on each other oh, unle- yeah. unless every day you create a mob that kills somebody up the top of those stairs and we all together get together while we kill that guy and throw his heart down the stairs and now we've discharged our energy for the day. We can all get along a little bit. That's what we need to do. Start doing no. that. No. Well, no, we're doing no. it. We call it confused. I, so because of that kind of scapegoating, I knew I knew scapegoating. I knew guillotines would come. I knew mm-hmm. it. Cancel culture. That's our that's our mod, that's our current guillotine mechanism. Yeah. The thing about guillotines is, though, everybody eventually goes up. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it's you know, it, Rose Pierre ends up on the everybody ends up on the guillotine eventually. Right. And that we're in that sort of phase now. I think where everybody's sort of getting. I find that fascinating. Into this thing. What about Salem? Well, uh, we should be reading Arthur Miller again. That's why he wrote that book. Yeah, that was during the Red Scare. That that was the that was McCarthyism, and I'm finally hearing people say, "Oh, this is like this is like the Red Scare all over again." It is, except this is much bigger, much more pervasive, much more global, embedded in in our being in terms of the mental health crisis that you're pointing out. It's it's profound. I think think we probably had maybe maybe we agree, maybe we don't. I think they did it on purpose. You, uh, see, you my, think it's just a coincidence. He's I think, I think it's a... <laughs> <laughs> well, who's they? Yeah. Maybe we should start the with The owners that. of the world. And, and let me just also say that there there are so many things that I would have patted you on the back and, oh, Roseanne, whatever. Uh, now I'm like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a stuff I never entertained before. Yeah. Now I'm like, well, I just I just show me the data. I, I'm up for anything Everyone now. Everyone should be like that. It's, show it, me the has data. Been, this show whole me experience the money. has been so bewildering to me, yeah. so freaking bewildering, that I'm like, I, okay, I, I guess the world is not quite what I thought it was. It I, isn't know. at all. So they, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like people can organize in that kind of way. I, I just they're not why? 
Because they're you not, don't think they were good enough to not, organize not, in that kind uh, of way. Uh, I just, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't think people are that. Mm-mm. I think they're they're remarkably centralized these days, and I never imagined that bureaucracies could develop so much power and control. But I, I think if you talked to every individual member of the bureaucracy, they wouldn't have a collective consciousness with the other bureaucrats. No, because no. they're on a need to know basis. Right. They're yeah. all living in the clerk mentality, like the yeah. Nazis. Okay. It's just this is pre, pre. Uh, this is Berlin pre. pre well, World it has War some II. of those features now. I never uh, it has thought, all of them. I We're never, talking about kill the Jews, get the Jews. Shock, First, they again, ethnic. Shocking. Uh, they ethnically. This is what makes me mad to see these young people. They are so brainwashed. I know. And just with lies. You, did you with just, lies. You just had Ami Horowitz in here, didn't you? Yes. Mm-hmm. He, did you see his video on? Uh, River to the Sea? No. Not that one, but I, I, he, I he, he went in and he asked all the kids, you know, River to the Sea, what, what river, what sea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me show you a map. Yeah. He shows them a map. They're like, oh, uh, it just sounded good. I didn't, I didn't yeah. really want Israel to be destroyed necessarily. And so no, he's, it's, just, it's mob. These are mobs. Yeah, mobs it is are mob. dangerous. Mobs. Mob. And I, I, thought, I really mob. thought we were past it. Look, the guy Did that you wrote, think, the guy that wrote the book. Wait a minute. Dr. Yeah. Groove. Yes, yes, ma'am. I have so many questions too. Um, Let's take a. Imagine Hitler, but he had computers. And internet. Yeah, I know. Now, you knew about Project Paperclip, Operation Paperclip, right? Oh, my God, Dr. Drew. The pilling of Dr. Drew. Oh, 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 it's a fresh victim. Woo-hoo. It's a real, well, explain it. Uh, It's a historical thing. It's an actual thing. Uh, I know what I know what you're thinking when you say who's they like she's into conspiracy theories and she is yeah see I see I'm, it I ain't am, no uh, conspiracy no, but theory I, I'm, it's a conspiracy fact but but you but you have you have conspiratorial thinking and I have she uh, does I, I don't no, no, I no. have <laughs> autistic thinking okay. well, let me where see. I take apart systems yes, and then yes, I see yeah. right through to the yes. it's like a beautiful mind yes yeah, why I'm listening but, 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 but I will but, tell but, you but no, my bias is anti yes I have an anti Understood. conspiracy bias right I know because you haven't had that level of trauma that's true see Mm -hmm. now those of us who have had a deep deep level of trauma we understand that we got there on purpose that we were created and made to go there you're gonna have to explain more to me people who have had deep trauma and deep mental illness okay well it's two different things well they one leads they can can. well mental illness Almost always is caused by trauma. Well, before we walk down here, not always, but okay. these days it is. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, before we walk down here, you you were questioning what is mental illness, right? Yeah. So, and and you, we have to get very very uh, granular about it. For yeah. me, mental illness there are going to be a lot of mental illness like syndromes out there that people function very very well with. Like look at Elon Musk. Right, he's sort of hypomanic and he's sort of autistic and yeah, he's kind of autistic. He gets shit done, and he, yeah, he is does. happy doing what he does the way he does it. Yeah, I, I have a hard time calling that mental illness. But if somebody can't function, can't have relationships, right. and is, un, is disturbed and has tried to change mm-hmm. and can't, I'm going to call that mental illness. But the Me symptoms too. can be the same. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, because it's either a gift or it's either a blessing or a curse. Well, you and recently, sometimes it'll switch and go that way and go right, that way. Right. And so you it's recently, moderating it. Well, it, I, you, I saw you at the Skank Fest. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you were sort of leaning into your diag- your mental illness. You said, which I found very interesting. I was just being me. No, but listen, you know? people are uh, sort of therapeutically advocating leaning into some like yeah. anxiety. Lean into it. Panic. Lean into it. And and, yeah. and you can learn to master some of these things. Yeah. And they just, can become assets then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it has for you. It, it's always worked for you. Yeah. Honestly. Well, certainly, That's well, how if I you've do been it. a trauma survivor, you certainly become very intuitive, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah. But it's not just intuitive because that kind of implies to me the woo woo magic. It, it can Ooh, be. let's light a candle and then <sighs> I'll perceive how you smell my fart <laughs> kind of thing not well, that definitely not i just want to say this real quick so we stay on topic what i was going to say is she is conspiratorial but yeah. she also is well researched so no, i'm going to be here 
why she talks to you. And I'm going to tell you what is actually historically documented fact. Okay, okay. And what I, she's And again, like I said, head. I'm listening. Yeah. Well, I don't Pro- ever say nothing that ain't documented. No, but fact. sometimes you'll, you, you'll, you're. I do. You'll add your theory to it. Yes, on it. yes. But That's sometimes that I get conf- in trouble. Like yes. when I say you devil worship and mother. <laughs> right. Fuckers. That isn't good. So anyway, okay. project, you were talking paper project Marner or paperclip. Operation paperclip. All right. Explain that yeah. to him. Well, or do you, do you this is well documented and many people. I've written a million and ten words okay. on it all over. You can find it. Yeah, just give all them the, the, give them the two minute okay. summary. Uh, okay, cut to the chase. Mm. Uh, America, when, when winning World War II, mm. when the Germans surrendered with Russia and all that, well, we we uh, carved up the fat between the three of us, and we came to an agreement there. The, the, the we and Russia mm. and German and, and England, England and England okay. and you know the allies. France, maybe. Yeah, and Germany, the German people. Okay. Which was, that was the whole trial, but that, okay, but trial. they did surrender. Okay. Okay. Or they were captured, or anyway, the, this is what it is. World War II ended, mm. and everyone assumes that the Nazis lost. Mm. But they actually didn't lose, because the United States... Uh, sponsored several of the most brilliant science, scientist Nazis to come here, yep. to come here oh, yeah. and had our NASA. space program oh, and yeah, many yeah. other programs oh, yeah. like that. Now, so that was the name of the Nazi project. They were, but they were definitely no, they were full okay. members. <laughs> okay. they, you know, a lot of people were fighting in the German army and were not Nazis. Right, but you you had to go through a special club to be. A, a party to be in, yeah. You, you had to take an oath. Okay, so, so that was the yeah. project name that. That brought the scientists Operation, over, the, the, the yeah. rocket scientists. Right. Operation Patriot. Okay. So yes, there is brought Nazi. Over. One of the first things they did, because some of the Nazi scientists that we brought over were familiar with and masters of mind control and terrorizing captive populations. Trauma-based mind control. Trauma-based mind control. Trauma-based mind control. And, mind control. and cap- terrorizing captivated okay. populations, okay. Like the such as the Warsaw Ghetto and okay. other things like that in yes. Nazi Germany. Yes. And what was that with, program called with the trauma-based mind control, which is a doctor? MKUltra. MKUltra. So we have, so that's where our MKUltra came from. Yeah, yeah. it's the same so thing. Did we have it already? It's mind control. Yes, we, it was We had it already here. when they brought the Germans over. It's right? German MKUltra, German mind control. Okay, but but MKUltra, wasn't it in Kentucky or something? Is there I, no, it was at Penn State. Is that what it was? Okay, because yeah. yeah. we also had the, we had the, farm in kentucky where we studied mental illness and opiate we addiction and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm what sure every that? country had some version of mind control what's the programs. farm it, it's where they first really kind of characterized addiction as an illness and uh, how to oh. do withdrawal and how to get people off opiates and it's where they were doing the uh, lsd mind control oh studies. i know about that yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, i thought i think mk ultra came in there maybe and started doing yeah. something that's why they closed it all down <laughs> They yeah, but it kept on. Well, like said, doing, well, that one, that one. Yeah, doing right. like weird experiments on captive populations. Yeah. Right. Like foster kids is one in New York. All this crazy, you know. So so I'm familiar okay. with MKUltra. It is a well-documented yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. How far it went, I don't know. I have no knowledge Nobody of does. that. And it, nobody does, Jake yeah. says, which is Could, very reassuring. <laughs> There's well, a million of them, like Operation Bluebird, Operation uh Artichoke, but but you are seeing evidence. I yes. I, I do feel God, that's what we're getting. I'm, I'm going to sound very conspiratorial. Myself. Welcome to the no, they just podcast. are trying to through. figure out how to control us, so we'll work for shit money and not gripe. Uh, what were you saying? Well, it, it, it's sort of. I was about to say something like that. <laughs> we're not quite that way, but but I'm going to say something like it, it, it. It the the COVID for me exposed some things. Oh yeah, right. Uh, and, and it exposed sort of, if nothing else, how bureaucrats think about us and right. how they want to. You know, when they decide they need to change our behavior, how they do it, and it's it was sort of shocking to me. Well, not sort of shocking; it was deeply, deeply, profoundly shocking. Like in what way? Like using fear to uh-huh. scare the hell out of everybody with COVID. Like Trauma the, the, based all control. everything about masking was bizarre. When well, the mask weird. six feet apart, like Stupid six, six feet out of was the like air. it was not. It was six feet under. That was the message. Well, six I will tell you, I was under. with. I was with. I interviewed the guy that was in the room with the CDC when they decided six feet. And there was no evidence. <laughs> no. They had no understanding of it. yet. They, they, they 
speculated that it was probably like other respiratory viruses, aerosolized, and therefore 30 to 60 feet That's would right. be necessary. But they just went, oh, we'll get them to do six feet. Yeah. yeah. Science. Nothing. Yeah, science. There's no science. I am science. Yeah, trust the science. And there's no, no, it is to this date, yeah. for, first of all, social no distancing. No peer reviewed anything. Nothing. Zero, no. nothing. Because it, nothing. There's it nothing wasn't there. It was science. Now we know for sure it's aerosolized and it goes quite a distance yeah. and six feet does nothing. And mass. And they also have the, all this data now on where people contracted it and how. And it's usually not in pros, very close proximity. It's not something they. Do you think it's away. from having sex with monkeys? We're back, now we're back to HIV. <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> that's where that was ruminating. That was I never knew if that was right, but no, 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 I don't think it was HIV because I read this woman Celia Farber. Mm -hmm. She's a genius journalist, although she's a conspiracy theorist to okay. me. Okay, okay. but uh, she said that <laughs> she said that the place they tested the uh, polio virus happens to be the exact same place where AIDS started hmm. 20 years after. Well, to be fair, um, this whole world of manipulating viruses, I, uh -huh. I interviewed Rand Paul a couple hours before yeah. they came here, and he was telling me, he written a, he's written a book now where he just puts all the evidence into like 400 pages, and it it's is a terrifying. lot of stuff going on that yeah. we should be very concerned about. He is truly autistic to the max. I Rand love Paul? Rand Paul. <laughs> really? He's On autistic? the detail beat. De yeah, yeah. Well, he's just, he reminds me of all the ophthalmologists from my era. They're, <laughs> they're all like the super bright and super, super precise. Um, I love him. I've loved I him. had a very warm feeling about him. I didn't get an autistic feeling talking no. to him. Oh, I do because I can and, spot him. So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so uh, he. What was I saying? Oh, so he Sorry. has all this information about all the different kinds of programs that were going on, and uh, and who knows how far back that goes in history and where and why it was localized in certain areas and stuff. So there's there's reason to be concerned about. How viruses have been manipulated, and what I, about I, giving uh, smallpox I, to the natives and the blankets? That was Sir Lord Jeffrey Amherst. I went to college in Amherst College, and Lord Jeff was <laughs> the one that invented the germ warfare of the smallpox infected blankets, which is why we had to change our mascot to the mammoth from Lord Jeff. Oh wow! Oh my God! Mm -hmm. Isn't it just all so weird and freaky? It doesn't have to be this stupid. It, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I've, I've you know, I, there's so many things about my thinking that, that are just new to me. That I, I, I feel so this. uncomfortable because it's, I, I'm open to things and I'm thinking in ways that I've not really thought my whole life. Oh, that's a good thing. I yeah. guess I've opened my mind to a lot of stuff. How old are you? Well, let me ask. When, when are you a um, is that hold am I now? Uh, is that okay to yeah, ask? 65. You? I'm 65. Oh, you're wow, okay, you look great. 65. Yeah, okay, great. Yep. <laughs> no, you look great. I said. well, I look great, yeah, but yeah. I but it gets, 65 is a, it's a thing. You notice it, it is, when you yeah. cross mm -hmm. that, it was like a yeah. thing. Then you uh, get on the uh, you get the social, Medicare. yeah, Medicare, get Medicare. <gasps> but you've Medicare. been Medicare, that's right? when you get all the uh, reconstructive surgery. You can get it covered. <laughs> You can't get that Did covered. You, I just had my shoulders injected yeah. with stem cells. I didn't get that I covered. just got that too, and my knees. Oh, the knees works very well. Where did they get the stem cells from? Uh, they got them. Uh, we don't know. We got dead, it through Joe Rogan's dead people. Dead babies. Joe oh, yeah. No. So, yeah, Joe yeah. Rogan, so I had them harvested from me, from yeah, my they're fat from me. from my bone marrow yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, they're they, from me. I think it's the same uh, no, I think technique. they took it from... Some cord blood they, or something. Probably organ trafficking. Who knows? It, oh, we didn't ask. No, I Who checked cares? that shit out. No, it's I don't Rogan. want no part of that. I don't think Joe Rogan. I'm joking. No, no, Joe, Joe, no Joe Joe's very, very, yeah, very uh, knowledgeable. Um, it's his guy. Ways yeah. to well. No, I, I saw that uh, Sean Baker went to him too, and they yeah. looked very appropriate to me. Yes, Anyways, they are very moral in their yeah. choices. No, Joe is. Uh, what would a good word be? Uh, Autistic, discriminating. He is yes, discriminating. He's knowledgeable. But your mind has been open. So my mind has been open to stuff. He's short. He's very short. Yeah, Joe that's Rogan. that's sizeism. Anyway, sorry. You're gonna get canceled. Um, so he, was it so, COVID that kind of? Yes, okay. it was absolutely COVID. And in, in a few, I, it's it's been I've been just sort of ruminating about stuff. For what about time. like on Twitter when any or any of the social media when when people would say that's not true and they'd ban them yeah. if people had yeah. any dissent at I all? Know. Well, to that the was official. me. I got banned a couple times. Yeah, got, that's what I'm gonna talk about. I got crushed and it was br and I. Bru it's just brutality isn't, isn't it? it and and by the way you know to me the poster child you had to interview him maybe some point the poster child for the cancellation of high quality professionals is jay bhattacharya hmm. 
Who's that? Do you know Jay? He's uh-uh. an epidemiologist from Stanford, physician, researcher. Look up Jay Bhattacharya. He's a gentleman. He's a, Jay a scholar. He's a mm. decorated professor. And he he was one of the um, authors of the uh, Great Barrington Declaration. And he just got destroyed for that. I and don't know what that is. It's, it's a group of doctors and researchers that raised their hand and went, I think we can do this better. I think there's Jay. Oh, um, is it now? Yeah, we had it for a second there. Okay. Uh, we can do this better. We can give focal, we should be doing focal, you know, sort of isolation of people with the illness, elderly people, risk populations. We should be using early treatments. He had all kinds of great ideas that would have been much better and not contributed to the mental health disaster we're in right now. Right. We started this conversation talking about the mental health issues. That's Jay. Does he look like an outlying maniac to you? No, yeah. I, re- I think I he, remember he's this a, guy. He's a very gentle man, and he is the poster child of, of the excesses of who they chose to cancel. Um, in any event, oh. they, they, you know, all the stuff they did, I mean, thir- like 20, f- we, we hurt the mental health of so many young yeah. people. Oh, we, yeah, we, destroyed I mean, it. Destroyed, destroyed it. it. Without a second thought. The, the whole process of going through a risk-reward analysis on the things they were doing was just absent. They were just, were just demanding things. Yeah. And th- it hurt a lot of people. And I, I want people that were hurt to be pissed. They should be furious. Well, we are. They, I hope they are. I'm fucking you. furious. I'm 45. But so I, you're a little older, so you've, yeah. had, you've already underway. But anybody from like... 22 to 30 yeah. and then also younger like the, the, the late well, childhood brother, adolescents yeah. they are they were just they were do you this is mad you're 11 years old and the, the t- every second on the tv they're saying you know shelter in place yeah. shelter in place your mayor is saying shelter in place that's an incoming nuclear weapon yeah, yeah it is. And, and by the way if you don't you're going to kill your parents you're going to yeah. kill your family yeah and then three years of no contact with your peers you think that's gonna be a healthy person at the end no. of that no uh, nope. i mean talk about mk ultra well that's how they did it in germany too because they Ugh. demanded that the children turn in their parents I remember that. and their neighbors mm-hmm. if they heard them say anything that was uh you know dissent dissenting with mm-hmm. the reich mm-hmm. which is like okay hey if you hear them say anything anti the democrat party you let <laughs> us know it's yeah. just like that you know that's what we're living They're domestic in. terrorists number one threat yeah that's what the FBI says, what Chris Ray says. So I'm sitting across from one, right? Yeah. Well, Did they say, I both, read today angles, it was doctor. a good meme that said FBI following Biden's or uh, initiatives. following yeah, initiatives or something like um, that. Well, it's, it's, it's but sad I, to me that we can't like dialogue our differences well we can here on the roseanne bar podcast yeah okay, we okay, can. okay yeah no we can so when covid started I mean, we all know what needs to be done I, i'm not sure what needs to be done frankly oh I, I am i'm listening well we need to clean everything up and start over again we need a reboot how do you do re- that a reboot how, how do we do that we got a lot of people that think very differently a lot of people are very concerned about a lot of things that that I, I actually understand and share their concerns, but that they don't see anything but that. Yeah. It yeah. kind of gets a little uh, you know, weird that people don't see the full spectrum of what's happening. Well, people who can't play nice with their neighbors. I, I've, I've said things. I've, I'm saying things that I, I can imagine are coming out of my mouth. All the time. <laughs> and the latest thing has been, we just need the golden rule back. Yeah. Just the golden rule. That'd be, that'd be, that. that'd be a great step forward. But don't say back because it never was here. <laughs> it's never been here. Not the way you'd like it? Well, it's never existed mm. in reality. That's why we've had to coach people up on it. Well, nobody's ever, you know, occasionally somebody will do something right, probably accidentally. <laughs> Is the way I see it. So this is the, this is your trauma world <laughs> speaking to me again. No, so this is my this is reality as so, I so, my so, empirical wisdom, which is that humans are self serving. Oh, they're nothing but no, nothing but. A- and would it not conniving? Be, would it not be true? See, I'm in denial about that. I, I believe people are good, and I think some uh, are. I think some and, are. and I get very upset when I have to. Go, go your direction but I, again some are though but you got to be able to note the difference between them and the other ones yeah they're in jail but that's the problem nobody ha- has been taught any discernment yeah. to tell between uh, an ass raping fucking monstrous criminal or uh, just a nice person yeah. they, how do we discriminate well I mean because a nice person might say the wrong word yeah. but the ass raping fucking criminal says all the right words Ooh. so of course you're wow. gonna go for that interesting because that's the mind control program we're under 
Hi, it's Jake Pentland here. I hope you're enjoying the episode with Dr. Drew. Uh, I just wanted to take a second to tell you and remind you again that we are now affiliated with Gold Co. You can go to rblikesgold.com. That is my mother's uh, landing page with them and fill out the IRA kit form. Um, that's what they specialize in. If you have a retirement account, you got your money in savings or stocks and you have this big plan, you, you can't you cannot rely on it. Things are too volatile. I suggest highly that you look into transferring your retirement into, into gold and silver, at least a portion of it. Because we don't know what's going to happen with the stock market. I mean, Biden's shitting his pants. Literally, an election's coming. China's here. I mean, you, know, you know how insane things are. So go in there, fill out the form. If you have a retirement account, uh, they'll walk you through it. You got to do it. You can change it years later if, you, if you're not comfortable or things get better. But right now, put as much of your money safely in gold and silver as you can. You can also just buy gold and silver on this website. You don't have to do the IRA kit. That's what they specialize in. That's what they, you know, that's the product that they're best known for. But you don't have to do it. Just fill it out. When you talk to someone, say, I just want to buy gold and silver bars, they'll talk you through that as well. So go to rblikesgold.com and protect your wealth. Thank you. That we cannot get free of yet. But I do have hope because I believe in God. Do you believe in God? I definitely believe in a higher something. You know, it, you know what I mean? There's, there's, uh, my little brain is not the, <laughs> yeah. not the, the end and the beginning of anything. Yeah, so well, but do you personally feel I don't feel anything? like there's a... I don't, no, I feel like I just feel a, a higher something. In you? No. No. Do you feel any connection of your body to any thing? No, no, because higher. I, I, well, yes, but I experience it in communion with other people. Uh huh. See, I'm deeply. You deeply, feel elevated when you're. I of feel service. Service, and when I when I'm deeply attuned to another person, I feel like, oh, that's something something extraordinary there this, that is this something thing, extraordinary the, the, the two of us create this thing yep that 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 is just extraordinary and, mm -hmm. and it and it well you know what jesus said about that mm -mm. whenever two or more are gathered in my name yeah you know which is like a creation of reality which we we're all living in this fake reality yes. that was foisted on us that don't have nothing to do with reality Maybe. Yeah, that's or, what I or think. Or at least isn't as real as we rely on it to be. We want it to be the totality of real, and it just isn't. The real is when you're needing something, you know? Yeah. And uh, like this happened to me in Texas. I got lost on the uh, four-wheeler there. I went the wrong way. In the desert? No, in our FD housing development or whatever you call okay. it. Our ranch site. Mm -hmm. So I end up just lost as hell and I had my granddaughter with me mm. and I was worried I was running out of gas. Mm. So I just, I just had this feeling. Do you, uh, I just had a feeling that what told me, me what to do. Do, do, you, do I have feelings like I was setting like it that? up. Do you ever have like a feeling like a voice or a feeling that goes, Hey doc, uh, why don't you go over there and, uh, something really good's going to happen if you do it right now? Uh, I, I don't have anything quite that vivid or um, direct, but I definitely have instincts and things, and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely have, I know what you're talking about. It's, yeah. it's not a voice or anything. It's just sort of like I... I it have, occurs to you. I, I have, I, look, I think stuff comes out of our bodies. Uh -huh. Like our bodies are some sort of antenna or something. Yeah, uh, this, that's true. Millions of years of evolution are wound up in our autonomic system uh -huh. and it will suddenly speak to us now i experience most of that when i'm with another person so uh, so it suddenly speaks to you what do you mean by that like, i'm intrigued like by that. i will like when i'm sitting and talking to somebody deeply and listening and tuning and they're talking about you're something talking about empathy to, hmm? empathy but it's a little more than that. It's, it's called attunement. It's, mm -hmm. it's, and i will like hear music or have hmm. smells or feel something in my body interesting and, and um, let me see if I can kind of do it here with you. It's funny. I get different things when I look in each eye, <laughs> which yeah, is... Yeah, because one know. eye's fake. Oh, well, the corny why. Empire. Is yeah. that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so I was... Yeah, but, yeah. but that's uncanny, right? Yeah. Uh, that I can really know yeah. that. 
Yeah. Uh, and and when I look in the real eye, I. Do you know which one's the real eye? The right eye's your real eye, right? No, I think... This one's my real eye. The left eye's your real yeah. eye. No, this is my real eye. They're both real. It's just a cornea transplant. What? It's a, yeah. a cornea transplant. She had a cornea transplant. Yeah, but except for it's not human. No, but I mean, it's, it's your real machine. eyeball. Was one of them seeing... They're both seeing? Yeah, I can yeah. see. Okay, so I this can... This one flashes. This it's is like a fake fancy eye. LASIK. Right. Is this so my can, left side? Yes. So it's your right side? It's your left that I was talking about, but it's the right that I'm looking at that this I can see. This is the good eye. That I can see a little more clearly. And I get two things. In the right eye? This is the real eye. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, you're going to read me. He's doing it right That's now. That's what What's-Her-Name was saying. I'm, no, I no, no. He's, oh, he's yeah. attuning. She, um, Kim. Kim. Kim she, Kong. No, yeah. he's seeing if he Kim. can pick up smells and stuff. No, no. I, no, she, she said, get him to read you. It's <laughs> uncanny. Okay. So, oh, let me be quiet and watch She, she okay. was asking me if I, if I have any experiences when I'm sitting here with you. And and I, I had several. And uh, one is I felt kind of heavy, right? He called you fat. Just, just for the record, huh? <laughs> I, I'm joking. No, one, one, I felt like, like, like an elephant stepping on my chest. Th- then I felt like a uh, something going on in my stomach, something I don't <laughs> like. And then I felt kind of dead. Isn't that weird? Like tired? No, just sort of. I don't know. It scared me. Huh? Is that something? Some part of you that I'm? Are you dying? Or some part of you that died in some of that trauma, you know, that you left behind. Oh, it didn't die. It. Uh, oh, are you? What are you? Are I you picking know. up? I, I don't know. I wonder what you're picking up, because none of that's kind of. I mean, of course, that's in my past, but that's. Is but that, it leaves imprints. You know, that past leaves stuff on your brain. It leaves. Oh, it's left all kind of things in there, mm. like you know. I mean, I'll never really fully trust anyone in my life. That's what trauma does for sure. Yeah, it does. But how can you? It's not anything you can learn. And, uh, you know, when you do, it always turns out that you were wrong. When you do do trust someone. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, there's always the... And it's never not happened. And I I go, that must be my own personal programming. Mm. It has nothing to do with that other person. Um, not per se. Yeah. I mean, you picked them. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, but nobody's perfect, so everyone will let you down sometime. Right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, and then you can move. You know, my, <laughs> my dream is to just live on a desert island alone I, I for don't the bl- most I don't of my bl- life, except for to come and visit my children and okay. grandchildren okay. now and then, All you right, know, well, that's good. every so often. She's lying. She doesn't but like I, That's a lie? Either. Yeah, she doesn't want to hang out with us either. She's kidding. She doesn't want to ever visit you? No. I'm kidding. I'm no, I do. Keep I like to visit my kids. No, we live together. We have a great Olivia. time. I like to visit my kids and grandkids, but aside from them... Anyone who did not come out of my personal vagina, I don't want to even hang around with. Do you have, any, do you have anything with. other than a personal vagina? That's what no. I was going to ask. <laughs> but I mean, I don't, want, I don't have any energy because at this point in my life, it's not like I'm going to start a relationship. Yeah. yeah I have all I the it. friends I need. Yeah. They know every horror of my life. Mm. So I'm not going to go get new friends and have to explain okay. to them, That's except good. for they're all dying. That's the only thing about getting old, Dr. Drew. What are we going to do about this dying? How can they, can't they figure that shit out? They're better at making people die. They're, they're good at figuring that we out. We have to move aside for the next ones to come along, you know. It'd be too many of us if we all lived. I don't know about what's coming along, though. I think these kids, I mean, they're not going to be able to take care of themselves. They're too goddamn stupid. Well, back to what I was thinking a few <laughs> minutes ago about stupid. Um, one of the one of the ways that I said I was uncomfortable, the way I think now and the things I'm open to, I've started getting very uh, reductionistic in my thinking about people and things and ideas and circumstance to either smart or dumb. Yeah. <laughs> smart or dumb. I'm just yep. I'm just starting right there these days because things have gotten pretty complicated. <clears throat> they're just so stupid. Sometimes they're, they're they are. They're involuted. They're not evolved. They're involved. The kids. They're, no, I just mean everything in the world. It didn't Is move it all forward. maybe the phones and maybe we have the Well, new... that's what I wanted to ask. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was like the Gutenberg Bible where you know, that's I got what they were saying the exact same things they were saying about the printing press back yeah. in the day. 
that we're saying about the phone. I think social media is a huge, huge problem. Of course it is. I think, and you'll probably disagree with me, but I think the pharmaceutical industry is a huge, huge problem. I but think. there's I just not I, I would better. have disagreed with you two years ago. Yeah, now. I know. Like, okay. That's why I've, <laughs> I've always, I won't do that now, but <laughs> I've always wanted to talk to you about this stuff, and I wanted to ask if your opinions on that change. It doesn't mean that some... Um, medicines don't work i'm not one of those like black and white yeah. but i think there is a, a bottom line to it that's more about the stockholders than the patient and i've also noticed doctors treat symptoms they don't treat the entire organism and that seems to have changed along and i think what happened is they're thinking and correct me if i'm wrong over time culture was like you know what it's easier just to give Amer americans are crazy just give them a pill they don't want to do the work they don't want to go through therapy well there's the some shit. of that there's some of I that think, for sure yeah. let's just just to look at uh, like we want to pay money let's, for let's a look pill. at uh, illnesses related to dietary excess right we, you know, we, we just, have, we've given up on yeah. help, helping people there because they just don't change. We're just going, right. well, now we've we got will... a Zembic, so okay, we'll no, use stop, that now. stop we'll eating so much and How do I get out. some of that Ozembic? You don't need it. No, yeah. but how would I get some? Uh, oh, Weight Watchers. You can call Weight Watchers now. They're prescribing it. Are Jesus. you kidding yeah. me? Don't Oprah it. admitted bad. today that she's on it. Yeah. I figured she was on it. That's with, what I thought, She was too. She's in that finally, purple gown. Now she's going, I use it just for maintenance. Well, what the what difference does it make when you're using it? It's good. It's all right. It works. But the it's di dangerous. But the diabetics are dropping dead every day because they no. can't get their meds. Because all the fat ass there was oh, Hollywood well, you don't bitches have to. are there's, taking it all. There's many good medicines for diabetes right now, but... <laughs> yeah well that's what we're getting at oh my god so everyone's fat and stupid and brainwashed mk ultra we're, so, co we're covering everything we're going so, through the so, so pharmaceuticals so so you know it's complicated right? of course yeah, yeah. and so I, what i'm saying is everybody's medicated like well, look at me last i heard 70 right? million so, so as a doctor you have two things you right. have a prescription pad and you have a scalpel and that's right. about it uh oh yeah. That's about it. No, that's true. I don't really be. use a scalpel. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I use a prescription pad to right. change physiology, right? Yes. Most of what I prescribe is generic and costs pennies. Right. It just does. Some what do you mean by physiology? Well, it does change. That as you get older, if you get a an abnormal... It begs the issue, what is an illness, right? Uh -huh. what, what is an illness? So illness is an abnormal state of physiology. And I okay. want to push that physiology back towards normal. Okay, I get what you uh, mean. And, or I want to prevent some complication of so that So you're, you're more about preventive, like whole, total, the whole I, I, I'm picture. I'm whatever is required. Like, yeah. like look, if you come in with hypertension... I don't oh, yeah. want you to have a stroke. I don't want you to have cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really care about the cause of the hypertension. I need to get that blood pressure under control right now. Right. Now, there are things I look around for to see if there's an underlying cause. It really doesn't change the treatment very much. And the consequences are the result of the high blood pressure, not the result of the narrowing of the renal artery, for instance. And, and I'm not going to go in and do an angioplasty into renal artery. I'm going to give you the Avapro, and I'm going to give you the amlodipine, and I'm going to give you these things. They're wonderful medicines that right. were invented by pharmaceutical companies, and they made a lot of money on it. It, and then they lost their patent, and now we can do it for pennies. Right. Uh, so wait, the, what yeah. kind of a doctor are you? I'm exactly? an internist. I'm internist. an internist, but but I spent many years in psychiatry. Many, oh, many you years. did because I thought you were something to no, do with I, I, psychiatry. Well, so so I was. I ran the medical services in a psychiatric hospital, so I became very familiar, very astute uh, to the what you're talking about, what yeah. the pharmaceuticals do, and the excesses, and the right. the relationship between the body and the psychiatric stuff. That was my thing. Then I ended up running mm. their addiction services for 20 years. So I was I there got, at the crossroads got, yeah. of medicine got, and psychiatry yeah. and addiction. Okay, so let me just say this. So that's and a then lot, I was practicing That's general, a lot of uh, intersectionality. It is. is it is. Which yes, is thank is. you for using that term. Uh -huh. It's really very pertinent to what yes, I, where I, I work. Yes, I know. And, 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 and I also was doing straight medicine alongside that. What, well, I'm just saying, picture this. You've got culturally kids are dumber. They're raised different. People are. On. I don't know the kids are dumber. Well, this is my theory. Yeah, you have people that have been medicated since, let's say, in the '80s. It started going up. People are on drugs that change your brain chemistry. Yes. you have difference in parenting. The feminist movement in the '80s. A lot of things change. Baby boomers. Yes, you had cultural change. You had drug changes, and then you have these millennials that are raised. Basically, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I I diagnosed millennials as having narcissistic personality disorder when I used to podcast years ago. It was a very funny episode. Well, so but hold on, let me just say. So when you factor all that in, wouldn't that be why everything's so fucked up now? Is that these kids have now gone into positions of power. They weren't raised well, with the golden rule. I well, think what the PSYOP is. That's what, what I think I the think. PSYOP is, I guess. The PSYOP is. It's cultural. That's what I think it is. The PSYOP is 
They're turning the kids into mindless warriors. Right. Yes. That's what they Useful want. Useful idiots. That's what. Well, Lennon they says. want them fighting with each other in the street, and then half will kill the other half, and they'll send whoever survives off to fight in the Ukraine. Well, but but the but you're now imagining there's somebody doing that. I'm here saying this seems to be a cycle that we get into as humans. Yes. Lenin. Mm-hmm. Rose Pierre, I mean, you name training. it, it it's come. It, it definitely is a cycle. It happens, and, and it's, and we it's ne- the degenerate, the degenerate power. I, I see it as these childhood trauma cycles. Yeah. Uh, that's is a that's major issue. In that's what I'm this. asking. Is that what you think it is? That, that's a part of it, and, and so there's a pattern that repeats. I think it is 100%. something like that, uh, 100%. and and also when there's economic disparity and stuff, obviously yeah. that makes it worse. And so, so I to, could to really me, blow your mind right now. I can't wait, but let me just okay. say this one thing okay. before you blow my mind. Okay. Uh, the the biggest the biggest liability of narcissism, and the emotion about which there is injunctions against in every scripture and which is alive and well in america today is envy Hmm. envy is a dangerous fucking emotion yes it is it's not jealousy jealousy is oh roseanne is a cool studio here i'm gonna work hard to get one too that's jealous it makes me uncomfortable i want to i want to do that envy is roseanne had cool stuff here fuck her i gotta destroy her yeah that's yeah that's that's envy yeah that's where the guillotines come. That's where the scapegoatings come. Now, blow my mind. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right about that. Well, I'll blow both of yours all minds all right. because uh, we were saying like how it's a it's a, it's a pattern that always repeats, right? Mm. Power and, and it's ascension, and then in, in, in its you know disassembly. Yes, it, it it always follows the same. We think. At least Pattern, history kind think. of seems to. At it least seems modern to. history. Yeah. Least, since the, the turn 18th century. Are you, well, even the, the, the fourth Roman Empire. I read the fourth turn. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what it feels it like. Doesn't, the fourth turn to me didn't quite... Didn't hit it for you? Uh, the, the concept hit it, but yeah. what the fuck's going on right now? He completely missed it. <laughs> like, yeah. like, he did not predict this. So, no, that's true. Yeah. He said, your journey is supposed to save us. What the hell's going on that here? That's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Sorry. I don't even know what you. You're going to blow my mind. We're talking about. You were going to blow his mind about patterns repeating. Yeah. Generational patterns through history. Well, everything is patterns that repeat. I mean, our our down to our atomic structure and our DNA. Everything's that. Mm. And why wouldn't we know that? But, I mean, we're just so uh, deluded and brainwashed and lied to and blow my mind. It's oh, I was going to say that things actually do repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Uh, you know, when you really, I asked you if you believed in God, so you you had like kind of a liberal answer. <laughs> no, I had I had a um I had a. Vague, well, it wasn't a religious. It, it was, yeah, it was vague, and, and yeah. that would be that would fit. I'm, I'm jealous of people that have a really. Vivid... But you're not religious, like you don't do something all the time. No. For the sake of doing it. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. But but I listen. I've seen a lot of people at the end of life, and I'm really admire what it does for people particularly at the end of life it kind of racks oh. your shit up it it, it kind of help, racks your helps you make sense of things yes. it helps you deal with the end of life it, yeah it kind of answers it, everything yeah. it's it is a racking up of like you know when you're going to go play pool and you rack them oh, up oh i see yeah I like it that. racks them all gives up. you a little order a little order you're pro- am i right in guessing that you're just trying to say that this pattern repeating is biblical is that oh yeah it's okay. totally bi- that's, that's where you're well that's why the bible has so much right ca- so much value it's because mm-hmm. it's just a bunch of accumulated wisdom of human behavior over many thousands of years right yes and why and same with the same with the indian books and every, you know the, 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 the Bhagavad gita and the yeah. and the mm-hmm. well, any of those things these are just accumulated wisdom over time because right. that's all humans had to understand themselves right. they just write stuff down and go you know it is said that three generations ago we they used to do this and they go oh mm. We should learn from that. Yeah, like yeah. tribal elders yeah. and like wise wise people. We don't have that. And anymore. we would carry it forward. We'd carry it yeah. and, and look Something at it, to examine pass it. On. And boy, the patterns are always there. Mm-hmm. And you think you think it's trauma, childhood trauma. Well, I think right? these. I think in the modern era, uh, I think this this tendency towards mobs and this thing that hit france and pre-revolutionary russia and seems to grip us right now the odd thing is it seems to grip the world right now yeah it's the that, first that's time what i, I don't understand i think i understand this country i understand the that's world. i think where social media comes in how the world got involved with this yeah. is odd it's but, very odd. i think that social media was like invented because they wanted to do something with it yeah. they, obviously the yeah. ultra guys but well yeah yeah the owners 
The owner. Yeah, the tippy top of the pyramid. Mm. But you're kind of dancing around having a revelation that you're you're going to with see the it. owners. Kind of. I've been. That's what I've been trying to build this up to. Because you, you you say things like, "Oh, I don't think everybody could be this organized," but then you cite these historical events that was just a few owners that were in control. Like if you're no, no, no. About, it's people. People. It, no, no, we no. Talking, I, we talked about Nazis and and, you know and the Mark Germans Ching? coming here, and you yeah, say yeah. Are they really Nazis. Well. They were following orders. He, they you know weren't Mark in charge. Mark is? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You guys would like him. He's a, he's a uh, cognitive psychologist. How do you say it? C-H-A-N-G-I-Z-I. Chankizi. And his, I adhere to something he was uh, suggesting, which is that there were always sociopaths. There were oh, always yeah. narcissists. There were always, what do you call them? The, the people, what do you call them? The up the ups, the, the people at the top? You oh, a name for uh, the owners. The owners. The owners. There's always owners around. But they can't really do much until we get swept into a mob and then they take full advantage right. of it. They yeah. can't create mm-hmm. the mob. They can't create the mob action. Right. But there are people around that always take advantage. Robespierre. What do you name it? Yeah. They've yeah. been around. And you don't think uh, that's happening Danton. today? I do you, think that's happening now. But you I, think it's conspiratorial? No, say. I don't think. I oh. just. I think. I think it's just these people are always around and now they're doing their thing because yeah, we are you know, sick. We're not about. well. Right. I think that's what she's talking about. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're the the differentiation is that you're saying they're not making everyone go. No, crazy. we we advantage. have moved into this thing, and then they just take advantage. Oh, of it. okay. And, and those he's saying they're opportunistic. People, you're saying they're that they're they're making the premeditated. Yeah, they're they're, they're premeditated. And she they're brilliant. So. Yeah, he's saying they no. write all their shit right out for you to read. I read it. It's who, brilliant. Who, who? Like you know. Give them one you example. Know, okay, like Klaus Schwab and um, yeah, well, those guys, Igor, yes, that little uh, guy, what's his name? No, Igor, those guys I just cons- call him I, Igor. It, there, are, there is this weird... That little group that runs everything. You the know, World the, Economic Forum you're talking about. Yeah, the yeah. World Economic Forum. And also that includes, of course, everything, the, Jeffrey Epstein. Mm-hmm. You know, it's huge. It, it is running the whole Western world, all that grift. Well, it's, it's a currency. You know, it is. Well, there's aspects of what you're saying that I would have had no sense of what you're talking about, <laughs> except I think I've seen a little bit of it lately that's sort of shocking to me. But yeah. uh, this, that I see what you're talking about. Let's put it that way. Okay. That, that I, I've seen sort of evidence of MKUltra style things going on where I go, what? Why can't we? What are you talking? What's going on here? Good, you know what? God always puts me in the weirdest places. Mm-hmm. Because I know it isn't me, because okay. I'm not that smart. Okay. Where does he put you now? Uh, well, no, I was just, I'm always in a place or where she. I hear people talking, mm. and it blows my mind the shit they say. Because mm. the one thing about me is I have been able to worm my way into some fancy, swanky joints. Yeah. <laughs> I love when you talk. <laughs> like yes, you that. have. <laughs> and tell me about what happens in those swanky well, I joints. I hear some shit. What did you hear? I heard a, a lot. You, they might come and get the, you if you tell us. Huh? They might come get oh, you if you tell yes us. Oh, hell yes, they would. But I I just go, uh, wow. Now, what are you going to, you know, how, how? It's true. I hear stuff like that. I get to be around some swanky things, too. And I've heard things that I go, nah. Wow. And then, yeah, it turned out to be, yeah. Right? But not, but not out of this world stuff. I don't uh-huh. hear things that blow my mind. There are things that I think, oh, man, there's a lot going on that I don't know about. There's a lot of stuff. And I wish I could... Like, just look at Dr. Fauci's behavior. He was my hero my whole career. Oh, no, yes. really? And he then, said was. And then all he of a sudden, was. and all of a sudden, he starts behaving strangely and yeah, saying weird. strange things and being defensive about things he should be able to easily answer. And I and all, all my head goes is like, what is he trying to... Wh- did you see him speak when he started going haywire like that? Or did you see him on the internet? I didn't see it in person. Okay. I saw, I saw it on TV or something. But yeah. I want to hear the... And and he was, you know, you know somebody asked a simple question. Yeah. Can you go to a church meeting or can you go to a Black Lives Matter thing? He should have gone, both are fine or both are no good. That's it, period. I, I worry about transmission of the virus in both or none. That's it. Yeah. But he went, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I understand what you're asking me. That was like, dude, I know you. You're a brilliant dude. I, you, What is going on? What he To me, it felt like he was well, scared. Well, some, com- some yeah. of these... Uh, 
conspiracy theorists that I've hear and I hear about. They say Fauci was took out and murdered uh, in Guantanamo, <laughs> well, and a clown replaced him, and that or well, a guy that. in a mask. Well, I don't that's think editorializing. So. That's, that's going a little far. That's for what me. they that's say what, on the internet. Okay, well, yeah. good. Uh, it's like <laughs> no, <laughs> I think you're. I think you're more but, onto it. He was. He was scared. But Some, and so I asked Rand Paul this today. Yeah. I went, "What could these people that are together?" not answering questions about net, what we now know for yeah. sure was going on and how we manipulated viruses and where the funding was coming. Yeah. It's all there. Rand's been calling Why him. won't they ask answer questions about it? And I asked him, I said, is there some reason that they could remain quiet that's justified? Is there something they know that we shouldn't know that'll mm. fuck a lot of people up or something? Yeah. And he really didn't have an answer for me. That's a good and so theory. that's where my head goes. It's like So I, do you don't think that they're all like either clones no, or I do not think they're clones. Or, I don't think or they're brain clones. or uh, totally or blackmailed anything. operatives that uh, are doing blackmailed. what they're told to do by China and the No, other he's getting to that. He's that basically our government. I mean, I, again, I like I I have a um, woman I interview frequently called Li Meng Yan who's a who's a brilliant yeah. virologist, physician mm -hmm. and was working on the coronavirus for the Chinese I, I for saw the, her. Yeah. the 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 uh, People's Liberation Army. Mm -hmm. And uh, isn't that a nice euph euphemism for <laughs> what goes on in China? And yeah. when I hear some of that I go it makes my skin kind of yeah. really crawl. Yeah. And um and whenever I would see her attack, I just recently I saw her attacked on, on Twitter, and I went, "Oh, that looks like a." I just tweeted back. Does anybody think this is a Chinese operative here? Is obviously. Twenty five minutes later, big videos appear about me. Wow! Uh, uh -huh. Edited you yeah. know, with making it look like I'm saying certain things that I've never said, yeah. and and I thought, "Oh, wow! They're really they are on it. They're here. Oh, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're, they they're, are they're twenty four seven they're on the around. Uh, So uh, you know, I like when Swalwell's girlfriend. Fang, fang Fang. All of a sudden, she comes back. Next day, she's dead in a plane crash. Yeah, it happened. Or Fang Fang. It's well, all. And, I just think it's all made up. Every goddamn bit of it. It's all bullshit. One hundred percent unified field of bullshit. From where? Where to where? I mean, do we believe the founding fathers? Do we believe? Oh the, well, we want that back. Of course, we love. But they were not full of shit. They were. No, they really, were. No, I'm talking about the people in power right now. So the people in power now, we we, it's hard to know. Well, I had an experience. Uh, I, I it's was, not hard to know at all. They're pe here's what I call them. It's the pedo Ponzi <laughs> priest class. Pedo Ponzi pirate pedo used to say the pedo pedo Ponzi <coughs> pirate um, priest class okay. of pharaonic feudalism. Okay, what's the pharaonic like pharaohs? Pharaoh. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. They want their fucking feudalism back. I can't wait to have you back on in four years when you totally know about all this shit. And you're like, God, four <laughs> years ago, I thought you were crazy. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. <laughs> you're hiding I, in I, nothing fucking... would make me happier. No, they I want their would, feudalistic. Because that would help me make sense of a lot of yeah. stuff. No, because <laughs> there's they, black they just warning, want their feudalism but... back. The pharaohs, the royals. The well, British you said Empire. upstairs we were talking a little mm -hmm. bit. And I was talking about how social media is a democratization. You know, our ability to do things like this is like mm -hmm. you know, from a little studio you can reach many people. Yeah. But you said you're against democracy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I said it's a very deep subject because Victor Hugo, I believe it was, it said democracy is two, two uh, wolves and a lamb voting on what to have for lunch. Two, Okay. And I do think that it is, it does have a lot of mob rule to it. Yes. And the commies love using the word democracy, you know, because they can pretend that uh, those two things are the same, which they are not. Well, I have, I, I adhere to the positions of the founding fathers, which is they had deep, profound concerns about democracy mm -hmm. yes. which is why they established a republic that's right a, exactly a, a representative checks and balances not a direct democracy and yet here in california we have essentially a direct democracy and we see how that runs amok all the time yep. uh, because they oh, you know i think everyone here probably 85 percent voted to overthrow newsom yeah. but you know as long as they i mean if people can't see that without paper ballots it's all a wash 
they can change all the votes they want. Once they say who, it's who counts the votes that matters. Well, that, now well, you're that's talking about what's corruption. Yeah. You're talking about corruption. Well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it's corrupt that we go I, blow I up am, Iraq am, and then rebuild it, blow it up again, rebuild it, blow it up again, rebuild it, blow it up again? The only people making money are the con- military contractors. So for I've not God's I've sake. not signed up as a you know uh, um, somebody that n- formally um, supports, but I have been fascinated by RFK Jr. Yeah. and some of his insights that I that he he blew my mind. He, yeah. he blows my and, mind. And, too. and when I listened and I thought about some of the stuff, it, it enlightened me. It, it changed my perspective. Quite yeah, a bit. yeah, he's very and deep so on the vaccine stuff, especially on the 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 general coziness between regulators and industry yeah. and, and that's what fascism was that yeah. is fascism, what it is fascism was a corporate government unification that's exactly they. what it is under a totalitarian what they that's the, that's the, that's they. the they. they that's the one of the they's oh, well, and you know I'm, they say, say there's away. only twenty five thousand of them in the world doing all this and, and programming what, all these things that go into each other using their computers to go oh okay facebook's going to take this and then you know it's just there, dividing there up is, the information there is this kind of weird set well the the thing i'm blowing my mind more than anything is this this centralization of authority that right. that, that is the enemy yes well, bureaucrats yes. are the enemy Bureauc- bureaucracy is the enemy but centralizing authority mm-hmm. and things like medicine yeah you mm-hmm. know they, and, and you know it's just you can't the the federal government was a essentially just a, a way of agreeing amongst the states to have mm-hmm. a more perfect union right. and to have somebody give us a common defense, a common currency, and some interstate commerce. That's it. That's it. That's the federal That's government. It. That's and right. And the fact that people look for it now for like solving all of our problems, it's just like, oh, oh And boy. plus they're so, well they lie about everything. And then if anyone even wants to present the opposite side of which there are always two sides, of course. if not That's three, what makes fun to and everything, yes. And instead, they just demonize all opposition and yes. censor it right well, off the face of the earth. Well, you're a bad person if you yes. do these, these ad hominem attacks, which is really, that's dangerous. That's how you get people hurt. Well, that's how they deplatform people and they can't, you know, they've lost everything. They, well, they thankfully, have no thankfully money. I, they can't make any money. I know. Well, one of the things that COVID has done, though, is taught people that people that were demonized and were condemned and were canceled can be right. Mm-hmm. And so well, that's true. And so they're learning that, oh, maybe we'd be a little more cautious with who we condemn as a bad person or off base completely. Well, I think it is when you're over the target, you get condemned. Yeah. It certainly seems to be the pattern. Right? Mm-hmm. I notice that's what happens to me. When, when I get near something that I, I may be not quite right, but if I'm getting near something, something that people want to protect for usually spurious reasons... That's when they get very aggressive. Don't you think that all they really want to protect is the information that uh, implicates them in crimes? I, I, I see. I don't go there. I don't go there. You go right there. Well, I, you're I, younger I, than me. <laughs> I'm naive, is what you're saying. <laughs> what but, you I, but I am concerned about the World Economic Forum. I mean, that kind of centralization, international. Have uh, you seen that treaty they want on health care? Mm-hmm. I am profoundly concerned about that. Yeah. They want, uh, they want authority over all Elected officials, all sovereign officials. Yeah, you. We just went through something horrible because because things were overly centralized. Mm-hmm. Now you want to take it to an international scale. Here's what's funny about it, is that the United States funds that that. I whole know. Thing. I As can't a, believe like it. Like our like the people in our government are the ones that are making it happen, and then forcing the taxpayers to foot the bill. This is this that is not conspiratorial to start thinking about all the things that our t- our money does. Bing. That that's concerning. There's all yeah. kinds of things I don't want my money to do. A lot of things that our government spends my money on that is well, just fucking like, people pay their taxes for roads, schools, hospitals, and you know things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know protection from the police. They are getting jack shit of that. But you know what? They're building a, a whole uh, place over there in the Ukraine for all the criminals. And when Trump gets back in and runs their asses in prison, they're going to go over there to the fucking Ukraine or Dubai on our tax money to escape getting implicated for being pedophiles. That's what I think. Interesting. Or, or priests or pirates. All of it. <laughs> all of it. So. Thieves. Who are we talking about? The thieves they, that steal. They, 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 they steal the public's <laughs> they, they money pronouns. and put it into private pockets. You know, it's interesting. You know, what's, it's what like your... anti-capitalism socialism. Yeah. Yes. And it's also like 
not really socialism no. or not really it's communism mafia either. Capitalism it, it's yeah, it's, you're right. It, that's true. It's kind of a weird a billionaire socialist. What the fuck is that? Yeah, right. Isn't that weird? Right. <laughs> right. That 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 is a, a oxymoron. Right. Yeah. 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 So so, what is your family of origins story? Where how they get to this country? They're Jews. From the Jewiest of all the Jews. <laughs> from. <laughs> Dirty Jews <laughs> from where? Not dirty. Lithuania. They were very clean, obsessively so. Uh oh. Um, from where? Uh, well, they came from all over, really. Eastern European. Um, New Russian. Well, no, Russian. But, I'm going to bet you not Russian, because I was told Russian my whole life too. Oh, no, really? my grandfather yeah. was from Kiev. It, it's always it's Ukraine so or Belarus. Ukraine? It's okay. Ukraine or okay, Belarus. It's not Russia. My yeah, grandfather told me we were Russian. Same here. I was told my whole life Russia, and then before my uncle died, I started getting more information. It turned out Belarus, Ukraine. Wow. And if you look, if you do your twenty three and Me, they give you, they show you where your yeah, ancestors they, came we from. We did do that, and you'll see the diaspora from the Ukraine. We, we, you and I, our family got away from the Holodomor. That's why we're here. We would have died of famine if we had stayed under Stalin's situation, and our our somehow our family had the good sense to leave. Oh, their they homeland. killed all my family in in Lithuania, buried the whole town alive of Jews. Okay, well they didn't make it, so they're not. No, the ones they that didn't. Are here. Well, my grandmother and her two sisters did make it to the U.S., but she lost. Uh, and she's Lithuanian. She lost nine siblings and all the rest of the family. And that was. Part of Stalin again, or what was that? Uh, Nazis. That was Pogroms the Nazis. Or? The Nazis. Nazis. Well, so that yeah. came lo- quite a bit later. Quite yeah, but later. she she was stuck in between not quite the Nazis and uh, the 1917 revolution. That yeah, whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, so it was like everybody was no, coming is, for the is, Jews. This is the it, Jews were coming for the Jews. It's why the we're here. The socialist Jews hmm. hated the religious Have you read, Jews. Uh, the, white the cosmopolitan pill? Jews hated the farmer Jews. Have you read the White Pill by no. uh, Michael Malice? Please get that. Oh me. no, he, uh, he's I mean, one he's, of my. Oh, I love Michael Malice. I have it. I yeah, have yeah I know the white about pill. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's he he's goes brilliant. over this history quite detailed. Yeah, and it's why we're here. And so, you know, when people talk about privilege and stuff, I think, oh, Jesus, my my family, man. Yeah, there's no privilege. They, they got here, they were survivors. And they yeah. got here and they were given. This country saved my family. Yeah. Um, my other side, they so they, yeah, were Ukrainian, Lithuanian, and uh, others of them came from Poland. Yeah, this, which and, was the same kind of thing. Yeah, then. and also like. They they went as far as Spain and Portugal too, so I have all that. But the twenty three and me was amazing because it showed that we had North African roots, which I had always all my life known. Have you been without, there? Oh yeah, subsequently oh, to yeah. my fame yeah. and getting some dough, you know. What'd you do down there? Uh, Shop for rugs in Marrakesh. Oh, you went to Marrakesh. So you just toured around North Africa. So. Yeah. Uh, I was. There. I went well, for she more. Went yeah, I went because I'm, I'm a Jewy Jew Jewy. Yeah. And so I went on the religious retreat of the whole area. You know, the whole Levant. Sort of, the, sort of the, the holy Saf- places. Sephardic retreat kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Got it. The holy places of you know where the prophets and st- such are buried and yeah. stuff like that. Hmm. So I did all that. That was cool to see it. Hmm. See all those places. Where- see, the, this is what this. We're getting into stuff, and it doesn't surprise me. We are that. This is what I kind of almost breaks my heart that we don't have a country filled with people that appreciate history and, and the past. Well, and, they have no. They, they don't, don't give even a know. Damn. They have any idea? No. And and I. You know, we lived through the seventies. I remember the seventies when everyone announced, "We figured it out. We know now." The, the all those the Penn Station, that beautiful old building, that's a piece of shit. We need to build some '60s Soviet-style building right. on top of it. Right, and that's the future. We, right. we we went through this when we decided the, that everything old was bad and the, the right. past had no meaning to us. That was us. Yes, that was our absolutely. generation. Absolutely. And it was a gigantic mistake, and none of us ever thought we'd see it again. And kind of here we are in more worse. Think about what you know. That's like part of the whole. Uh, brainwashing too because you know i think that the mk ultra i mean it always leads leads into the stalinist they're always so much the same thing you know i i I just read a lenin biography it's really it's him he he really was the driving force stalin was just a right useful idiot really i mean he just perfected what lenin was setting up 
Lennon had was a horrible human being. It's the worst. <laughs> the worst. And he had it all figured out. He, he he is when you said earlier knowing the difference between a good person and a bad person. Mm-hmm. That's not a good person. Yes, an ultimate that's tyrant, a little pharaoh, he, he, little Hitler, right? He just he didn't really give a shit about people. He no. And yet he gave a shit starved about Starved millions. Just he, well, that's Stalin again. That's really Stalin. Well, he, Lenin starved them accidentally because he was incompetent. Sort of, yeah, but you know. he starved them. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people did. They're all like horrible, creepy. Those leaders? Are they Russians? Who? who? Lenin? Lenin. Was he Russian? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think so. I don't know my history as well as you do, but I'm... Uh, shit. I, I, I remember reading about his origin. I was thinking, ooh, it's, it's a little it something, something going on here. A little well, different about it. his origin. You look, look up at it. Uh, well... But he had, you know, his brother got ki- you know, killed. Russian Revolutionary Publishing Plan. Is says, he Russian, Russian, Russian all the way? From what I... He was, they do some weird shit, the Russians. Let's go to what do you think of Putin? I mean, talk about uh, somebody that seems to like feudalism. <laughs> that seems to be he his thing. He's born in Moscow. He's yeah. like the richest man in the world. He's not? He is. I, that's what I figured. He's got more money than Elon Musk. Yeah. E- I just read Elon's biography, too. I, re- I read lots of biographies. That's how I really studied really? it. Really? The Elon Musk biography was fantastic. I oh, am, I got to get have, it then. He, he, you'll talk about autistic. You will love him. He is... Uh, I have so much admiration for him. I, I'm obsessed. I do too. Now he's not a great guy in the sense yeah. he'd want to hug him or hang around him, but man, do I have admiration for that guy. I, I think he's awesome. I think he's very. When, brave. when he said "Go fuck yourself" from the stage, uh, yeah. did you love that? I loved it, and well, I was reading the biography at the time, and I thought, oh, this is this. Particularly when he said, "Is that clear?" Because that's just him. He's just he fires and hires and just keeps moving forward and doing stuff, and his compass is just due north at all times and he just keeps moving and, uh, and you yet keep up with him. as i always say and yet and yet when it rains because i have a tesla when it rains Mm-mm. then you'll get in your car you know and roll down the window and the rain comes right onto your leg oh yeah so think the design he isn't quite right. the fuck out of you if know if you were to tell him he'd probably I'd always change. say it but i think he may be one of these people that don't want to hear any Descent. Oh no, he only he is all about better, 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 and who made this decision and why? All about that constantly. Well, he better do something with those windows. Maybe it's an older version. No, I don't know. It's like because he's lawyers. always, always, always changing stuff. Always. I'm sure if you. Can. I don't but, like the way you push this button to open the glove compartment either. I, I'm almost going to get a truck just because I admire him so much. I want to get a truck. I, I, I don't really want the truck, but I'm just going to do it because I admire him so much. So I a- invested all my <laughs> so much of my money in him, and I made it so much money. And you know what? It's just endless. The investing in anything he does is endless. He's in he, business he, he with relentless. everyone on he, earth. You know what's interesting? He he in the book, Bill Gates comes to him and goes, "Dude, you should be philanthropic. You need to." And, and Musk goes. Show me what you're doing with your money. And he goes, well, here are the top five things. And then he goes, that, that's that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> he goes, I can do so much more building businesses, so much more humanity and creating jobs and 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 uh, financially for the world and, and, also, and also solve way more problems than you solve with this sleepy bullshit. I thought, oh, yes. You're, yeah. you're I all, like that. You're, that's yeah, great. just keep building, man. Keep building companies. Keep yeah, doing stuff. Builder. We didn't talk about vaccine. So we haven't got oh, me, let's go We there. haven't gotten me all the way in trouble Yeah, yet. no, let's do that. And then I want to hear a little bit more about Fauci because you didn't. You never really told well, me. He, okay. He can we need to talk about the wellness company? We do have to do the wellness company right Okay. Quick. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'll just, I'll read the promo code for you. Okay. But. Um, what do I say? Well, you're on the board. Of the I'm wellness on the medical board of the wellness company. I, I embrace oh, it's them. Your company. I, I got yeah, a, let him right. do it. I got a million things to say about that. Okay, go. Well, first of all, they're great. They are well meaning people, great people. I don't, we're not all completely aligned on everything, like everything Peter McCullough says I don't sign off on, but I admire him and I, 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 and I want to see him continue to think about things and say stuff and put, put stuff out there. And anyway, he's been a great guy to work with. He's a consummate physician. He knows, cares about people. And one of the things I've noticed, is I've been trying to defy, d- d- protect the physician-patient relationship my whole career, yeah. and it's just over. Uh, we 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 can't protect that anymore as doctors. We are either have insurance companies telling us what to do, or employees, right. or yeah. ho- or we're employees, or we th- our hospitals. You saw what happened during COVID. The behavior was 
mind boggling. How about right. mind blowing? And people mind -blowing. just go home and come back when you're a PO two seventy. It's like, well, that's that's not see closing down your offices and in your care of patients when they you need them. They need you the most. I right. couldn't believe it. Yeah. Any event. Um, this is a response to that. And, and I kind of am now the opinion that because we can't protect the relationship, we need to give the patient more. Like give it, there's so many things that are so easy to use the patients should have access to. Right. So we have these emergency kits. That's what you have the code yeah. for. Yes. And I, I always, I give my, when I, I have, you know, I've followed my patients for years and years and I give them emergency kits and I give them travel kits. I've always done that. <laughs> and so when they started talking about doing this, I was like, yes, of course. And there's a, and you have a telehealth visit if you wish, and you have a handbook on how to use these things and when to use them and what they're for. And it really empowers the, it yeah, empowers the patient. It's just the I want to, I want to get, I'm going to, I'm pushing them to get into reproductive health. Because I will tell you, I'll I'll give you a a world. Um, what do you call it when you reveal exclusive? Yeah. You know how there's prep and pep. Do you know what that is? Mm -mm. So you can take an antiviral medication before you have sex to prevent HIV from right from transmission. Oh, I didn't know that. You yeah. can take an antiviral after called pep post exposure prophylaxis to reduce the risk of transmission rather oh. dramatically. Turns out there are other antibiotics you can take that you can prevent risk of things like gonorrhea and, not, and chlamydia and things. And we just don't tell patients about it. I want to really go down that road the of sex, empowering sex people, medicate. reproduction, non-hormonal kinds of contraception. I want to go aggressively down that. I love it. Let me and, read this and, promo code now. I want to talk about it because mom is giving you, if you want to get one of these med kits, and you get the whole booklet and everything. Yeah, yeah, these about. are great kits. They're, they're it's reasonably so priced. It's so good for people to be more responsible for themselves. We're going to have travel care. kits soon, because when my patients go on travel, I give them certain antibiotics and certain things. That's and, so and smart. I, just, I said, we got to create that for the, our patients at, at wellness companies, so we're right. doing that now, too. So go to twc.health forward slash rb. RB. RB for that's you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And use code RB to save 10% at checkout. Yeah. So that's twc.health forward slash RB, and the promo code is RB for 10% off. And you know what all this craziness has <laughs> created? I used to take a pill after I had sex so I didn't get an ICD. You're, you're a, right. You're a trap. <laughs> IUD or ICM. UTI. Yeah. UTI. <laughs> and then you gave the guy a pill before he had sex, the, the Rohit. No, pill. you take it after because I always got a UTI yes, after that's sex. Yes, that's one. That's another thing we could do, and that's. Yeah, there's I different ways of I just quit that. having sex because I figured this is not worth it. Not worth it to get the UTIs no. all the time. Would you no. do that sex kit with this company or is I'm going to. I'm yeah. going to I plan to. That's yeah, a great I, idea. Yeah. I, I just I, I I just I'm pushing them in that direction. That's, That's a good and, thing. And, and and by the way, for somebody like that, you know, look, putting back in the if somebody came to me with that history, I'd go, you know, some vaginal estrogen cream would probably yeah. make the whole goddamn thing stop. And no one tells you that. You know, and if and there's no reason they sh I never you shouldn't heard have access that, to that, for yeah. God's sake. Yeah. I said, uh, my whole life looking back, the only thing that ever got thin on me was my vaginal walls. Right. <laughs> and that's why the, that's correct. And that's why the vaginal cream restores some of that suppleness. It does? Yes. And that's where the urinary tract infections are yeah, coming from. Yeah, because it's all cracked down yes. there. Oh. Dusty. And nobody, and... nobody tells people this. I never it's wild can you combine me. the cream with like a lubricant? You don't even need the lubricant if it's uh, you can, oh. but you don't even need the lubricant. I just say so you don't have to put a cream on and be gross, like you know, make it sexy. Plus, the well, the cream of, is just a reg on a regular basis. Oh, it's but not right. just the thought saying. of yeah. touching anyone is repulsive. Well, that's because you know? you're not on the cream. But. See, I it, I'm so the opposite of you that way. It's so funny. Yeah, I, I am, especially hands. See, I am the oh. opposite. The fact that Dr. Fauci was saying we're never going to shake hands again that was where I was. Oh, we're off the rail here. This yeah. is this is, this is something's wrong. Really? Yeah. I, I, you probably welcomed it. I I just thought no. Uh, <laughs> I just I, that's when I started. COVID. That's when I really I started. Reach, I reached out and shaking hands. I was yeah. like, I'm the too. shit. You know, we I were, loved COVID because it was like the quarantine. It was so great no <laughs> because I never I had to it. babysit because I, I told my it. daughters, yeah, I, I, like yeah, I can't be around kids because, you know, you I'm not vaccinated. Sick. And so just keep your kids at your own place. And uh, <laughs> so I never had to babysit for a whole year. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> joy in that face. <laughs> <laughs> I had an assistant. She's made me cheese sandwiches whenever I wanted. And I just laid in bed all on my new medications, which were good, and uh, psych went meds? on social media. Psych uh, meds? Huh? Psych meds? Oh, yeah. What are you taking there? Can you tell uh, us? Well, then on the COVID, on the quarantine, uh, I can't remember which ones I was on during that. Depakote? No, I've never gone that one. Abilify? 
I have done a bill. No, I didn't do. Abilify is the hamburger helper one, right? Yes. If <laughs> your one is, it, if your <laughs> yes, thing ain't working, ask your do- doctor for well, the There's Abilify. Truvada's also does that kind of thing. I, 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 Truvada, uh, uh, tr- the hell? I think it's Truvada, yeah. I, I took, uh, oh, it's a too long of a name. It's got about 15 letters and Uh-oh. it starts with a D. <laughs> do, have, do I have a friend's zone? That one you're always filling for Yeah. De, it's the best one I've ever been something. on. Lyrica. Oh. Oh, it's just Lyrica. Just Lyrica? Yeah. What's Lyrica? <laughs> Look at him shocked. That's Is all they Lyrica? put on? You Lyrica crazy. is just a pain medicine, essentially. It's it's like um, Neurontin. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it's not Lyrica. Yeah. Maybe that's the wrong one. But anyway, word. the point is, pharmacology can be helpful is the point I'm trying to Absolutely. make. Absolutely. Well, and, this uh, one I'm on pharmacology. is so good. So this is generally what I want to say, is that going all one way and all the other is usually an error. Absolutely. Okay? And yes, so it is. And so I'm trying to get everyone to temporize. And to, to be sort of moderate. Think, moderate. The truth is always in the middle. Things. Yes. It's always in the middle. Don't and the, go to the extremes. The, the excesses. Yeah. And even in vaccines. Like yeah. in vaccines, for me... It's odd that they had a you know vaccine ready for a spike protein. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, they and do. Well, that's they, what the COVID that's vaccine. What the, the mRNA vaccine was yeah. a spike protein. Uh, oh, but now they have a, a vaccine for the spike protein. That's what the mRNA vaccine is to produce lots of spike protein. So your body sees the spike protein on the coronavirus and fights it off. But you produce a bunch of spike protein first, yeah. so your immune system reacts to it. So now they're going to give you a shot. To get rid of the spike protein. Well, this is what's weird to me is that we we took the most pathogenic part of the virus and made it people expose them to a lot of it. That that was odd that we didn't switch to the nucleocapsid protein. But okay, and I, and, <laughs> and Rand Paul pointed out to me today that because the, the Moderna was already underway with this stuff, somebody knew there yeah. was there was something afoot with potential coronavirus problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and. Um, so we, we did that, and it was very helpful early on for older patients. It really was. Uh, it, it really kind of interrupted things. I had, I had older patients that died of COVID, and when I was able to vaccinate them, things were different. Really? They were different. Uh, now, should a 12-year-old be vaccinated? I wasn't so clear at the time, but I didn't take an opinion yet. Uh, then now we're doing third vaccines. Now we're doing fourth, four rounds of this. There is a study out of Australia, uh, Austria just a couple of days ago that suggested that the fourth vaccine, the second booster, not only did nothing, uh, no effect on hospitalization, no effect on deaths, mm. reduced infection maybe by 17% for three months, and then a rebound where you get more infection yeah. mm-hmm. for, the, for the rest of the way. Yeah. So it really doesn't do anything. So I don't know what we're doing with all the boostering, 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 especially when 99% of the people have antibodies against the, the virus. That well, that's Here's a thought right for you. Yeah. What if we're doing it just to sell people shit? To well, make money. It it looks like that. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> and if I were amongst those people that were being accused of doing that, I would want to correct course very quickly. Particularly like, you know, when like let's take a twenty two year old male. Uh this virus has no risk for a twenty two year old male. Mm-hmm. And the vaccine has some risk of right. causing myocarditis. Not a lot, but some risk. And some newer studies showed that half of those kids have persistent myocarditis a year later. Mm-hmm. That's mind-boggling. Yeah. That any other product would be taken off the market, or certainly for that those yeah, age groups. Yeah, sure would. And yet we're still pushing it. I I'm remember just, the Tylenol poisoning. It was one store and yep, four yep. bottles of Tylenol, yep. and they pulled. It remember, you from couldn't everywhere. get tryptophan. Everywhere. Do you remember yeah. tryptophan when they pulled it? Because one person yeah. died on tryptophan, mm-hmm. which yeah. you can get from Turkey. Yeah, that's they pulled exactly it. They right. used to pull shit. Yes, uh, yes. Now Something happened in the No, medical. now they're mandating it. So I'm yeah. saying, look, Do you think that all the I'm, medical stuff, let yeah. me just ask you this. Yeah. Are, are, you, are we going to... We're in the vaccine part right now. Yeah. Go ahead, ask me. Well, it it, it changed somewhat somewhere where it, uh, it just became... Was it Obamacare that changed everything and made it so corporate? Um, that was part of the evolution, I think, because, you know, if you look at the electronic medical record, there's all these... Mm-hmm. milestones you have to hit and if you hit them you get a little higher reimbursement and blah right. blah blah from the insurance company not from the drug company mm-hmm. from the insurance companies or from the government for medicare and things and so yeah there's a lot more sort of rule following programmatic checking boxes that kind of stuff that was never part of medicine when i was trained yeah there's some of that and there's you know, residents don't work the long hours anymore they don't prioritize patients the way we used to i worry about that um We'll see. I mean, I, it seems I, like you know, 
Well, maybe maybe you're uh, pioneering a a great uh, exodus that becomes. I just want. Good. I my interest is in the truth. Yeah, that is my interest. Uh, and if we can all ascend to the truth, I'll mm-hmm. be very happy. Yeah, I will. Uh, t- I will be too. Free speech, especially <laughs> free, if your doctors, truth is a little different than my truth. I, I know <laughs> it's, it's very different. But, but, but uh, no, it isn't. Well, really. one of us is going to be right. Well, yeah. it'll be me. It could be. It always I, is. Yeah, you have a pretty good record. Do you give have you example. ever looked at? Have you ever looked at things I've said would happen? Like no, give me an example. Over the last please, twenty years, please give me an example. We've got to write it up. Please I'm do. Write please it up and please pass do for me. I would love to. My sister, the Arandil. My sister the keeps the Arandil. You were right about. Yeah. That's what you got fired for. Yeah. Calling out how that would fund. That is just beginning to Israel occur to people by, right now yeah. in our country. The, it it is odd how poorly informed we are. That that to me in a time when information is everywhere, mm-hmm. it, it it concerns me. That that's the right? part that that's what I was. Yeah, that, that's it's the part I'm, I'm struggling with right now. Because I said, they, they I said have to. We control. have more access to information now than we ever have throughout history, and, and we're dumber. And, and, it makes no sense. <laughs> well, I, no and sense. there was, there was a, like like uh, there, again, I, I ran Paul's fresh on my mind because I just interviewed him, and I, and I read through his book as best I could. It was like four hundred pages of evidence, like it, mm-hmm. I mean, just mounds of evidence. Why? Why? Where's Rona, Ronan uh, Farrow? <laughs> why isn't he digging over I that know. and trying well, to figure that, out what's going on? Yeah. Exactly I want right. that kid to really help enlighten, un- pull the lid off this, get the bandaid off. What? What is going on? There's something missing in our ability to access what's the full spectrum of what's going on here. I know that's mind control that keeps us from. People are scared, uh, and then we, Anons we do it. We are being get taught destroyed. Never to. Question. Assess blame upward. That's one of the. Well, we were we were reared on that, right? Yeah. Our thing was question authority. Yeah, that was our yeah. deal. Yeah. Now it's trust so how the our children Oof. and their children came to totally trust the government if they want to vaccinate my eyeballs <laughs> fifteen times. <laughs> up my newborn let them baby. Do it. Well, I was sort of. I, I'm on the record of saying there aren't enough vaccines in the world for my family. That's my yeah. statement. Pre-COVID, <laughs> yeah. since since then I've been like, oh, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Let me, me think too. about some oh, of this stuff. Oh, it's just everybody it's, in uh, everybody seems to have somebody in their family who's died from the, yeah. you know, myocarditis. Everybody has at least somebody it, it, in their family, and people are out. not trusting. They're it, just not trusting because of evidence. Well, no vaccine's ever been put to market that quick. Operation Warp Speed, warp speed right? No, and remember, everybody, no one was going to take it because it was Trump's vaccine. Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, you have to take it. It's like, what? Well, I then know, it was that's what vaccine. I said. Yeah. I asked my family members that couldn't wait to run out and get it, all gay, by the way. I'm like, what is it with the gays trusting the government to, you know, vaccinate them? Yeah. Or Fauci. Hello? Yeah. Hello? You th- Hello, remember the 60s? Hello. Remember Stonewall? Yeah. Remember this government uh, yeah. at all? But um, oh, they did. They they huh? ran for the vaccine. There's musicians and the uh, Marifu fighters you couldn't get in their concert without vaccines. Yeah. Like they were rock stars that were like, you mm-hmm. have to go, like, you're supposed to be fucking counterculture. Yeah, but they were, there was, there was weird. panic. It was panic and it was mass formation. It was, it was it mass was, formation, but it was also like, hey, if you don't do what we, the owners tell you yeah. to do, you're going to get but, blacklisted. But they were all deluded. They were deluded with the message that the vaccinated are the, it's the pandemic of the vac- unvaccinated. Yeah. They're the source of infection. They're the ones that are filling up the hospitals. Yeah, all these that. things that they were, they believe, they still believe to this day a lot of people. Yeah. But they're, but that shit ain't true. Correct. No, I never it's believed It's all that. bullshit. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Remember those nurses when, at the same time they were, I think people are funny in how they do, but they were saying that the hospitals were overrun with people suffering and couldn't yeah. get in. Yeah. And then the nurses come out Dude, doing that videos. big old <laughs> choreographed dance number yes. down yes. the hall yes. that probably took, you know, 20, 20 to 28 hours to get all the steps in. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you to understand the hang on the my dual... wife has been paging and you're, you're interrupting our podcast oh, Roseanne says hi we're, what's going we're wrapping on up. something going on okay okay bye <laughs> i got that <laughs> mic is well, everything okay i guess well we went a little long we can wrap up i just i wanted to hear one more thing well, about... let me finish my <clears throat> right. this well, no, i'm not done i'm still it? talking to her I, I, all i got is the f- freeway by the way which is blocked by palestinian uh, protesters yeah. are you kidding the, one, the 110 right mm-hmm 
You, and you can't run them over. I mean, you can. You should, but you can't. Well, what was I saying? I was I don't know. telling him. Something. Uh, we were talking about vaccines. We were talking about the the. Uh, damn, it was good too. Damn, you play the tape back. Well, his his wife called. Yeah, I, I know. It was her. It was her fault. She always blames why that. Uh, right, it was something I was going to say about just how, how it works. Oh, the the dissonance, the the imposed cognitive dissonance. Yeah. That they they'll show you those nurses oh, at yeah. the same oh, time. Yeah, yeah. That that'll be on the internet, but then at the same time on CNN, it'll be the emergency rooms are overflowing. Yeah, so so it's like, how can you stay balanced and say well, and I, when yeah, it's the opposite I, every minute? I had a nightly show here on Fox Eleven. You know the place, the, not Fox News, Fox Local, mm-hmm. and um, I did it for about a year during COVID, trying to help people understand what was going on, and every night I was having to kind of adjust what the what the producers wanted to put out there. They go, there's, there's no, county says no hospital beds. I go, the county says there's no hospital beds. Yeah. So that means there's no county free, sufficiently staffed. They have a staff problem. Right. They have plenty of beds. Mm-hmm. They can't get enough nurses in there. The hospitals all around the city are fine, all mm-hmm. the private hospitals, and the county's getting stressed because people without insurance and whatnot are, are, oh, are yeah. coming in. The, but don't sense. now say there are no ICU beds. Do not say that. Yeah. I, I had to do things like that every night. Yeah. Oh my God. Those were the, that's the kind of data. Mass, mass panic they and were in panic. I, I had a. I had somebody walk up into me in a newsroom, a really high quality journalist, and said, so this is a, uh, what's the word he used? Uh, th- this is a, um, what's it called when a species? He goes, this is an extinction event, right? We're witnessing an extinction of humanity. <laughs> and I was like, what? I mean, not, not, the, not even remotely like that is going on. Yeah. My and that's like what that. the people who produced the news were thinking yeah. and believed. That's how fuck we, that's what we did to people. They, they thought that the COVID was that? Was humans going instinct before their eyes. Yeah. That this was going to re- eliminate the human species. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the, like when Trump won and my daughter was there because I had a broken <laughs> leg and was up in uh, San Fran in a room and everyone came to see me for my birthday. Well, that just happened to be election night when Trump won 2016, mm-hmm. 15. And uh, my daughters are very liberal and uh, the one started to just scream. I knew Trump was going to win too. How? I just knew he was. I, I was shocked. Another thing she was right about. Uh, Who is it, who's winning the next? What's who's? Oh what? well, let's wait. Well, so oh, I want to let me finish what my daughter okay. said. Okay. So that she got, she turns to me because it was my fault, of course, that he won. Yeah. And she goes, "Mother." <laughs> she goes, <laughs> 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 "He." He is going to deport all the gays. I, I know. My daughter <laughs> called me and said, what's going to happen to my friends? He's going to round them up. Yeah. I was like, where did you get that idea from? Yeah. She was at Columbia. So, Oh, the, the <laughs> Trump derangement syndrome is part but of this. But that was so shocking. It's gotten worse. It's, 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 well, it's, it's different it's, now. It's, it's changed a bit. I, they, I think it's crazier like now. They amping us up against each other. Yeah. That's what it I is. I feel like it's planned. I do feel like there's a, they a want, They want a race here. war. They want it a civil war. can't be just war. crazy. They want hey. The owners. <laughs> Klaus Schwab and them. Yeah. Could be Klaus. Well, how about uh, what's the name that keeps putting the The people who put... Soros, on yeah. every Soros. That is one. color Soros. revolution on earth. I, I Soros, want to know what because a Soros. color he, revolution he is happening in America just like it happened in Ukraine and Egypt. The same exact thing is happening here. And if you notice it at all, you're an enemy. But, we need but to that fight. is what it is. We need to fight back and make sure we find our way back to sanity. And well, to we need to start talking to, to each heritage. other, yeah. speaking yes. to each other, and pointing the blame upward, not laterally yeah. at each other, but upward at the actual people who are guilty and actually cause all the goddamn I, trouble. I am prepared to blame the media. They oh, have yeah. been a major, well, major Well, they're an arm of, of it. They're owned by four so, companies. Well, that's fine. And the mm-hmm. farmers are the one funding it. Let's that's be right. fair. Right. But, uh, but that, that's, where I, that's where my focus was from the beginning with Me COVID. Too. was so crazy. But I'm don't like, you don't see Don't listen the, to these people. There's a plan there. Like, and just, it's the elections, see? too. Because remember when we were alive? <laughs> remember when we were young? Yes. And uh, 
you know, they used to have a thing called the fairness doctrine. And so if somebody came on and spoke about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. their political yeah, party for three minutes, side. you got equal yeah. time. There was no money involved. No. It didn't cost a billion dollars to lose an election. Yeah. It's just all uh, that's devolved. Weird too. Yeah, that's I agree with that. Right? Have you seen when all the journalists say the same thing? Have you seen that video? Where, oh my god, okay. it's fantastic! So and you play know, that video for uh, everybody. Threat here. to I our was. democracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, but, no. If one's not safe, nobody's safe. But like, there's what? <laughs> there's like three or four companies that own all the media, yeah. right? So yeah. and you see this where they're reading from the same script. So but but I why do you there. have such a? But I'm just wondering why do you have such a hard time when we say they or people are in charge? You're always like who's they? When you can see right there, there's four people that run. Every news organization. But, but, but if they have one private phone call, like, hey, we're going with this to story to tonight, that's the story tonight. Yeah, but listen, I've worked, I worked at, I was on a Yeah, HL but you weren't at that was, level. They, you were getting the stuff like, hey, this is what we're talking about tonight. You just got the shit to read. No. Nope. I mean, I know you produced your stuff, but they did were saying, you? "Yeah, oh, you produced your." But well, you were, I helped produce it. I you were on a producer. network or a local network. Producer. Did they, they tell things. you what to do? Never. Oh, good. Until, until they did. Right. Oh, until they did. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what so I'm saying. I did get in trouble at one point. <laughs> so they control the information. They can. Uh, but they can but it wasn't. It was. I. I. That was uh, eye opening. But that was after being there for like eight years. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was they, weird. You probably weren't. They're always you weren't threatening the narrative. Whatever you were doing eight years ago. It was when you started to go outside of the realms of their their. The no, I, I, you, I never felt mad. any pressure to say anything ever. I said what until I until you did. But but I but actually, as always, what I what was reported about what I said was not even what I said. Right. It's never what I say. No. It never is. This is the uh-huh. thing about being a public figure. You mm-hmm. whatever you said is never what's reported. Right. It's never That's what right. goes viral. It's always what somebody said. You <laughs> she, said. She's aware, right? Well, with me, <laughs> yeah. it's like they take my jokes as if they were statements. Yes. Like if Henny yes. Youngman goes, "Take my wife, please." They goes. She he's wants to kill his wife. He's trafficking his wife. <laughs> yes, right, he's right. saying, come and have sex right. with his Right. You know, yeah. all my jokes, they take uh, but, them but like again, they're I serious. think people are waking up to that. They're getting used. They're becoming I more so. smart. They're smarter about consumption of, of news and, and virality and things. I hope so. After all the ridiculous shit they've seen, Yeah, that Don hope. Lamont was the worst of it. That guy, he I know you're not going to say anything. <laughs> well, I was a, he was a, he was somebody I worked with, you know. Oh, oh it and, was. Oh, yeah, and that was how I got I'm in trouble. Sorry, I said something on his show, and <laughs> oh, that's right. But I didn't get in trouble with them. I got in trouble with it later. So here's all right, you want to hear my, my story with them? Uh huh. So um, I had a wonderful experience at CNN. I have no quarrel. They were great man. I just have nothing but positive things to say about my experience there. What about Jeff Zucker? The- he was great. I had a great relationship with him. I and- used to really like that yeah. guy. The guy right under him, I had a really, I really admired and still admire. And he came to me and said, we're going to have to, can- we're canceling all late night on, all, all um, prime time on HLN. They just canceled me and Nancy Grace and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And uh, but we're going to wait a few months because you know your employees need this and that, and we were for the on behalf of the employees. It was really a nice thing. Yeah, they always say that. And um, and I was on Don Lemon's show pretty much every night. Yeah. And uh, one night I was on there going, yeah, you know, yes, yeah, Trump has narcissism. Trump is hypomanic, but a lot of business people are that way. And I said, be careful, be careful how you label presidents with the psychiatric right? labels. And I described two presidents who had significant psychiatric problems. And I said, no. and I said, should these two guys have been president? It's like absolutely not. Well, okay, that's Abraham Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt. Mm. Abraham Lincoln had a profound depression, oh, yeah, severe he was, depression. He is bipolar. He may have had bipolar. And Teddy you got was in definitely trouble for bipolar. that, huh? You got in trouble for that? No. no. I go to my. I was doing a daytime radio show, and uh, the program director said, "Hey, I heard what you said on Don Lemon last night. Could could you do thirty? Could you condense that to thirty seconds and put it on our website?" Oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> and I, it gets better. <laughs> and I and I go, yeah, I think I can do that. And I did it. And I'm getting up, and he goes. Fairness. You need. You know what? You we. There's an election. You probably should. Can you got something to say about Hillary? Can you do me thirty seconds on Hillary? And I go. Well, funny thing. She released her medical records today. Her doctors and she was getting, hor- not good medical care. I had notes about everything they were doing for her. I remember you saying and, that. And so I did thirty seconds criticizing or raising issues about the medical care she was getting. She had had a stroke and she had transverse sinus thrombosis and she was on hypercoagulable medication. And why did they have on Coumadin? Which is an old, I, I had a million questions, and I got up and didn't think anything of it. Next day. Drudge reports, front page, finally a physician says she's not suitable for office, uh, which is not at all what I said. Oh, no. That then goes viral. That's when I heard from they, okay. <laughs> who told me to go away. Yeah. Uh, and a week later, we'd planned to stop the show. So it looked like we had canceled the show because oh, wow. of what I said, which was not what I said, 
not why we stopped the show. Yeah, they and set. They were just setting you up. They wanted you out. <laughs> so they. Well, I was already out. We we had agreed lock, stock, and barrel. The show was over. They were probably on just the mad next Thursday. You said something about no, Hillary. No, they. That's yeah, <laughs> you the triggered Hillary. him with the anti-Hillary. The media. That's but I didn't even give anything anti-Hillary. I was matter. I was giving both sides. Doesn't well, doesn't because matter. Drudge. Drudge to drudge, said I said yeah, something that said I didn't that. say. Yeah. And that's all. That's it's right. always listen. And Hillary Nancy was the media's Pelosi darling. Nancy Pelosi calls that. The wrap-up smear. She does call it that. Mm-hmm. And and that's what happened to me with COVID. They put her out a video of part parts of the things I was saying. And by the way, the things that they cut out would be the things I would be criticized for today. Because at the end of every one of my little concerns about the paranoia and the hysteria and all that, that was I was sort of yelling about, I would say, just listen to the CDC and listen yeah. to Fauci. They'll get us through I this. I remember. I used to be so mad at you. And they cut oh that part God. out, and oh. that part is still gone. But yeah. today, I would be criticized <laughs> for that part. Yeah. You know, so. I was upset with you when you were doing that. Isn't that oh, something? Oh, Fauci. I don't know. I think. You already knew it was a problem with that? I did. I knew right ahead. Day one. Well, I, so there's a good everything. prediction. Oh, well, I knew I'm, it I'm because right Q you. said. Yeah. I, I, I was into, into the Q. Q thing. I guess you never were into the Q thing. No. Well, Q said, watch Fauci because he's doing the Freemason handshake. Yeah. So that's how I knew well, he was tell no me, good. Tell me for both of you. <laughs> I knew because talking. of Lyme disease and Y2K. <laughs> what about Lyme? You remember Lyme disease? Yes. If you stepped on grass, you were going to die. I didn't go outside for a year when I was 12 years old because I thought if I touched grass, I was going to get Lyme disease and die. Y2K happened. This hysteria I fell for. After those two, I was like, oh, they're just pushing hysteria. It's all bullshit. And I never was fooled again. So I'll get an opinion from each of you. Uh, What's going to happen in our next presidential election? There isn't going to be one. I've already said that. I'm quoted everywhere saying that. I'm I'm reiterating on that. There won't be a 24 election. What's going to happen? Well, I I'm not at liberty to she say can't that. Say. Okay, when the mics are off, what are you saying? Uh, I think Trump's going to win for a third straight time, and I think Biden will get reelected. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's that's my answer. I think there's a reasonable probability that Biden at the convention will say no. He can't. Here's yeah, I can't. I, I I've got a diagnosis of something. Yeah, and here is Mr. Newsom, who's going to come into. I think so. I just who do you think it's going to be? They Newsom? can't do it. You know what? My favorite. Michelle Obama. Well, people are saying that, but there's no way Michelle is going to do it. There's no way. Why? Because if she does, I will dedicate the rest of my life <laughs> to telling fat ass Michelle Obama jokes day and night, twenty four seven, three sixty five. She's the one that got me fired. She is. Yes, yeah, she is. And you know, people say things, and I say things, and More what or have less, you. Yeah, it's, I never said one. She's they. Rude thing about she's Michelle. They. She's one of these. Yeah. She is a they. Yeah, she is a. But they. what was I saying before? Oh, I, I didn't mean that. that. I all oh, my favorite guy that, that too. does the analysis. Allegedly. Trump Mafia on YouTube. They just put him back. So happy. Alex Jones? No, his it's just called Trump Mafia. Oh, okay. He's and, too, uh, Alex he Jones said, is too mainstream for my mom. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, read the, no, read, I, no, but Trump <laughs> Mafia is so great. Read the Musk he biography. Said, read the Musk biography. Okay, I will. Yeah. But he says it's going to be Newsom and Hillary. And I think a, that's a, what it's going to be. Yep, that's what I think well, it's going to be, well, Who's going to be the president? Newsom. Newsom. Oh, if that happens, I'm. Oh, I don't even. I know it's really hard. And all, all the all the women, that. you yeah. know, who are dumber than women have ever been. They are. They are so stupid. I don't know how they can walk, chew gum. This and, is the part that's going to go viral. Yeah, Doctor Drew just sorry. said this. <laughs> <laughs> Please cut that out. I don't want to be a part of it. I'll just women. blurry your face. Yeah. Really. No, okay, yeah. uh, some women. Okay. No, she's saying they'll vote for a woman just because she has a vagina. Uh, yeah, which it, to me, well, you can't be more that. stupid Jews than that. Jews used to do that. Yeah. Well, well it's just, just stupid. Jewish. That's why I'm going to vote for Michelle Obama, because I have a penis. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Sorry. cut it out. That you're in trouble. No, he can't be part of this, I know. Jake. We'll do that on our own. I'm the one that edits this. I'll but, take it um, out. Yeah, but is. that was a good joke. Let's be real. And you're going to tell me off the air why there's going to be no election in 2024. Yeah. We well, should wrap up. Okay, know. let's wrap okay. up. Um, I'll wrap talking. it we up talk, with this. We can this. talk all day. You've got to come back. You. Will you come back? Yeah, of course. We didn't get into anything I wanted to get oh, into. Really? I know. We didn't get I've into I've been wanting the... to talk to you for 15 years. About what did you want to talk about? Well, Just... I mean, mostly pharma- 
pharmaceutical drugs, but yeah. that's another show. S- specific Let's questions do about another specific show medicines. On or... that whole... uh, I, well, we want to talk more about mental Your childhood health trauma too. stuff that's ruining everything, I, I'm with you on that. I think I think most things are PTSD. I think most problems are PTSD. Ish, yeah. I, in, that in that zone, arena. yeah, yeah. And I think that the proper way to treat PTSD is through intensive therapy. And I know medication does help. I think it helps uh, in line with additional therapy i don't think it's the you know the kind answer. of therapy so i just want to say i think people need to get back into intensive therapy that uh, are i do too I, and you know what the therapy is based on not just because this is what helped me with all my mental go ahead therapy. what is it based on radical honesty yes. okay so no lies yeah. no so, falsehood just radical honesty. and tearing yourself apart and so the truth. i i agree with everything Hardly. wholeheartedly and the kind of work that I think works best that you're talking about is kind of the attunement stuff we were talking yes. about an hour ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've watched it work like magic in mutual aid societies, like 12 step and things like that. So cool. people can do it with each other. They can. Yes. You know, they can help mm-hmm. each other. And I've right. always been trying to figure a way to bottle this because there aren't enough therapists on earth to do what we need to what you're talking about. I know. Uh, and I do think. Back to what we said a while ago that the solution it's peer. It's, it's, in, in, it's the solution is other people. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's spiritual also. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, but some for me, the other people is where I find the spiritual. So I get it all in one for me. Mm-hmm. Most people need some both. Right. Um, but we really have to find the answer in each other. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and that's to. that's where God is. That's what I opinion. totally well agree. Said. Uh, totally agree that for me it comes like uh, through uh, it, it will occur something will occur to me that uh, it, it inspires me somehow yes, yes. to create something that moves people and it's very spiritual does not get better than that does it yeah mm-hmm. no right. it doesn't yeah we're here for others we're here to serve other people that's why we're right. here and to yeah. keep the species going right. and being present for others and stuff and and if you can be open enough trusting enough to be there and fully present for somebody it's it's deeply sad we've all helped our friends through like bad relationships and they've there, there's us. Hap, there's helping people but i'm talking about something a little more profound uh, you're talking about actual the tuning and stuff that you were oh. i'm talking about being really really could you really, teach uh, people tune. how to do that i maybe i've got a, you do. know what i got a call today from a friend that does kind of teach that maybe i should explore that with her let's um it, it, it is really about being able to Use your whole, not listen with your ears, but listen with your whole body. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. I would love to learn that. The, yeah, that I'm, would I'm be 100% a good serious. Thing. This could be, a, this could be really important. Whatever, right, you're, whatever call, you're cooking. Call my buddy back on the way back. Yeah, I'm going to hit you up. Well, Thank we'll you, Rosanna. It's been more go. fun. Uh, yeah, you I knew it would be good. so fun to talk yeah, to. Yeah, I know. This is great. I got to get you on my thing, too. I'll, I'll, I want to be on you your You can do it from thing. here. We'll just, yeah. you'll but just. But if I go on your thing, you know, I'll have to be tame. No, you don't. I don't. No. Oh, good. My, my my wife. Really my, I think my. I think you would radicalize my wife. <laughs> I think she's already got very serious concerns about China and about they oh. <laughs> and things like that. She she goes that way. Oh and so, well, she's smart then. It so, is China. <laughs> it's so China. She's aware. You, I think, would radicalize her. It'd be very. In, well, I'm trying to wake people up to the fact that their options are dwindling, and so are their rights. For God's I, sake. I just think that we must. Everyone needs to be aware of. Of the importance of freedom. We all need to fight Absolutely. for it, whatever that is. Just fight for it, fight for it, everybody. Everybody. Well said. It's always you. a fight, too. All right. Thank you, Dr. Drew. Great to be here. Oh, you see.